Hello and welcome to, uh, let's see if I can do it right, Cirque de Saint Sauvage. Close enough. Sauvage. Sauvage. Close enough. Um, I am Redica in Discourse. I am playing Elden, the human artificer. Um, and we are back for another week of um, fun things. I think I switch it over to Waltz, who's going to give us our. Tra no. To the DM first. All right. Switching it over to the DM's got an announcement. I am super bad at this job, but I have the one job and you were muted. <gasps> so you muted me the whole time. The whole time I just realized I'm like, hey look, her little her little bar isn't going up and down. Why is wow. that? Wow. Why is that little bar not going you up? Muted the wow. DM. I muted the DM. I was mostly muting muting everyone else, but then it See, happened to the DM. This is why you should let me live. Mm -hmm. As punishment. Wow. <laughs> so, All right. the DM has some great <laughs> announcements about what we're doing next week and the week after. Yes. Um, next week, I am going to be out of town. So, you will have as a treat, uh, Dr. Christy Winters will be running a one-shot. Um, I forget the name. You told yeah. it to me and I forget it. The Joy of Extra Dimensional Spaces. Excellent. So our regular players will be there, but they will be playing a whole different game with different characters, and it ought to be a lot of fun. And uh, Christy, of course, is a DM every week, so we all know that she's very good. Aw, thanks. Uh, and even more excitingly, at the end of the month, uh, many will know that that is Halloween, and we will be running several horror-themed games, uh, some Call of Cthulhu, um, a sort of horror-themed one-shot from me that's d and uh, It will be on the 29th and the 30th for sure, with possibly another day, uh, excuse me, to be determined. We're still finalizing some of the, uh, some of the things. But uh, it's going to be for charity, for the Save the Children charity. Uh, many people will know that it's a charity that has been around, oh God, since 1919, I think. I, don't quote me on that. But it's been around for a long time. They um, are in international. They are doing things in Yemen. They are doing things with refugees. They are all about helping children. And uh, we just thought, uh, with the world full of horrors, maybe we could do a little horror theme to reduce the actual horror, if any of that made sense at all. I think I got that confused, but you know what I mean. So we really actual hope you think- horrors over real horrors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> uh, we hope everybody will um, come by and maybe throw a little something donation wise or maybe spread the word anything that you can do is something that's very appreciated by us and we're really excited we're really hopeful to be able to give back some and i think that that is all of our very exciting uh announcements So, unless anyone yeah. else can think of something I forgot. <laughs> no, no, that's about it. All right. I so, guess, 
I guess that means it's time for some kind of recap. Um, last time, um, Marble uh, decided uh, that she doesn't want to play want to play anymore. <laughs> I think you're jumping think ahead to you. the end. <laughs> Yeah. Jumping ahead to the end. Come on, good. Let's back it up a little. Come on, what else is important though? Last time, um, the party arrived at a um, at a little desert trade town, and with an oasis, and um, did some some shopping. Um, did some interactions with some of the various. Uh, Inhabitants did a little show, um, impromptu, and then um, some of the characters decided. Also, there, no. Before we go to that, there's some, there's something weird. Um, we we there seems children seems to be have been be disappearing from this uh, area, from this town, and no one wants to talk about it. Everyone is very hush hush and very no no. We're, we don't we don't talk about that. We also learned that um, that the leader, the tribesman, the king of um, of Volks's former tribe, uh, has gotten a little nuts. Uh, it seems and has uh, united all the lizard folks, uh, desert lizard folk tribes under one. And has also grown several sizes, um, seemingly by selling, by selling uh, off uh, members of the tribes, including his own daughter, if I remember correctly, to the Simic Simic Combine. Uh, so that's concerning. Following that, some of the party members decided to go and get high on D and D catnap. <laughs> that included um, Marble. After a wonderful performance given spontaneously yeah, in yeah, the city center, yeah, by the way. Yeah, yeah, very great. Made some friends. Uh, yes, made some friends. Um, everyone, the people who got high and like most everyone but Marble got home. And did fine. She decided to not want to go and annoy the crab out of Elden, who then decided to just no nah, fuck it. I'm just gonna leave her. And then when she tells me where she where she is, and she seems to be lost, I'm just gonna assume she's like, once again being annoying, and uh, not come get get her. Which resulted in Marble accidentally ending up in uh, the ruin. She had to wish with rid her, but she's ended up in some ruins outside of town. But she has been able to, um, uh, Viani had, were able to spot her wandering around. And yeah, no, I was being a good no, sister, like good sorority sister, sister. Yes. not letting, you know, don't leave a woman behind. Yes, and um, we're able to use her tracks to know that she's in the ruin and has run, run there, is running there to get her. And... I think she, you also did you alert everyone else? I think you did. Uh, she was going back to alert everyone that's else right. when last yes. week. Yes. So yep. that's where we ended up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So with that, I think we're going to start with Marble because I think she wants to know where the heck she is. How did she is? So I think this will work. Marble, do you see yourself on a dark screen? Yes. See okay. Darkness. All right. <laughs> and for a moment, that is all that there is to be seen. Um, Okey doke. But in your still a little bit high state, and we'll figure out exactly how still high you are in a moment. Uh, it takes you a while to to figure out what happened. Mm. And I'm trying to find. There we go.
when you come to find yourself in an oval chamber of white marble surrounded by stone you're standing in the middle of some lit up uh, you you might not know what it is but it's clearly some sort of magical arcane symbols on the ground and you are on top of it uh, you look around one of the first things you become aware of is how incredibly cold it is here it is bone deep chillingly cold icy it's kind of painful uh, you hear voices and you look down and then you look up you find that there are halls going back and forth that end in uh, like statue reliefs there are undead creatures wandering they don't seem to have paid any attention to you there there's what looks like a zombie kind of shuffling about there is a ghost up staring at the uh, relief of one of the statues there are some a couple of skeletons and you hear over just everywhere it just seems to be coming from everywhere a voice at first you don't it's talking in a language that you don't understand. But after a minute or two, uh, it changes to common. And you hear, please be at peace here. Your struggles are over. This is a place of respite. Please calm yourself. Stay here with us. Be at peace. And then it switches to a different language. But now that you have sort of the idea, you can tell that that is what it's saying. The, um, the circle that you're standing on starts to zzz, 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 and light up again. Do you do anything? Um. I would like to hop off of it, so I'm now very creeped out. All right, you hop off of it, and after a few seconds, Wish is next to you. Wish yeah. observes you and comes and stands next to you. And there you are. I don't think we're in the desert anymore, Wish. All right, <laughs> so we will leave you there for yeah. a moment. Well, can't really go anywhere. So wait for my friend and go <laughs> for the go back to the others. All right. So Viani, you had gone over. You'd seen that they went over here. Oh, for some reason, hang on over here okay um you had checked out uh the footsteps you saw you saw through here that there was a light some sort of sigil on the ground you didn't see anyone mm -hmm. and at that point you had turned around and gone to find your friends correct yes so i'm going to run back to basically our caravans i guess is that I don't know where we're parked relative to I think to the... you were about there. I think okay. that's where we had decided you guys were. Okay. Yeah. Um I'm going to kind of like alert the people who went on the adventure and when we're out with us tonight. So that would be um Wolks. Um, which would be just me going, Hey, get up um and, and get out of your tent. Uh, there's an emergency, which is all I'm gonna say to everybody. Elden, Zill, uh, and the ringleader. And and temerity. 
just like go in and just sort of like poke my head in and bang on their doors and try to rouse them up and get up. Bang on the tent doors. Or pop my head in. Whatever works. Well, some of us are cats. That's true. I just like I just love the idea of banging on tent doors. <laughs> <laughs> Grab a fart you can kind of bang it against a pole. Yeah. And uh, give it like a minute or two. Come on, come on, get out, get out. Do, do people get up? Yes. Get up. Yeah. Okay, well, it says, well, come in out. and s- says there's an emergency and I should get up. I'm going to get up. Yes. I'll show up. All right. Uh, question for the DM. Um, I was working on a second antidote thingamabob. Not sure mm-hmm. if I had enough time. If enough time has elapsed since since I got started till Viani shows up to have finished one or not. It takes an hour. Yeah, that's what we decide. I I guess it I guess you might have been able to do it. Done one. Cool beans. Then otherwise, yeah, what's what what's what's the emergency? Alright, you could go. Elden Zerzil, Wolks. Okay, you still haven't told us what the emergency is. Just... Waiting for Temerity and the Ringleader. Temerity is gonna no, get I'm sorry. You don't you really sorry, don't have to read. wait for everybody. You can you can just tell us. <laughs> They're slow. Temerity's been through a lot today. I'm not sure any of you have noticed, but he has did have a traumatic experience. I assume the others also show up bleary eyed, if nothing else. Um, I'll, I'll show. I'm not in my any of my personas. I'm just a normal normal ringleader. Okay. Viani will basically brief. I went looking f- to get Marvel home. I found her footprints. I tracked her to the scary, creepy ruins, and I think she is in there. And I'm not going to go in there alone. So I think we need to tool up and go get one of our compatriots. What What is Make she sure doing okay. there? I don't know. We don't. Do the, we don't have time. Lead the way. Ask afterwards. All right, let's go. <laughs> no, wait, well, you got You got I got You said tool up, so hold on a sec. All right, thirty seconds. I, I got to put on my. I, I got. I got to show you my new leather armor. I got to go put it on. Eldon, can't you just Wait. speak to her? Oh yeah, I can. A marble. Well, do I hear him? Is he close enough? You're muted, You're muted. Christy. <laughs> What's the uh, range on those? A mile. mile. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. <gasps> no, nothing. Out of range. She might have died. Or fun asleep. It's one only like 60 feet. <laughs> she might have fallen asleep. It's fine. <laughs> she was asleep. She was asleep or trying to sleep on a pile of cats. And then was really <sighs> annoying. And then. Stop uh, talking and get start getting ready. <sighs> Uh, I gotta go get my leather armor on and make sure I get my Veronica and a torch and my antidote. Those are the things. That's it. Do I need to roll Constitution to see how under the weather Timothy still is? Did you have um? Did you have a an antidote? Yeah, the first one. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, roll it with advantage then. Ooh, you feel all right. That's good. Um, how have we managed to lose one of us? Hmm? I didn't catch How you. have we managed to lose one of us? I... I don't know. Let's get her back and then we can get the story. But... Let's just focus on getting her back first. Those ruins creep me out. We're gonna be stuck inside again, aren't we? Yes. Alright, are you set? Got your stuff now? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. Lead the way. I will lead the way. 
I don't really have to use the tracks this time because I know where I'm headed. So I'm going to head there. All right, so you head over to this area where some sort of, maybe it was a temple or God only knows. It, it looks pretty fancy though, but it is half buried by the, the sands and, and broken apart. She takes you to this place where it seems to be just a, a window. And as you look down, there's like a 20 to 30 foot drop at the bottom of which is a glowing sigil. I think we shouldn't touch that thing. I will stop Can I down. attempt to identify what that is? <laughs> oh. just looking yeah, at go it. ahead. Uh, uh, roll Arcana. That's a teleportation circle, but you don't know uh, where it goes to. But if she went in there and you don't see her, she probably used that, accidentally triggered it somehow. That is a teleportation circle. Who uh, knows where that goes? And I don't know why it would be here. Can I look around for wish or signs of wish? Sure. Roll perception or investigation. Investigation, I'm better at that. Uh, 14. Yeah, uh, her footprints lead right to this uh, window. And it, I mean, as you look around, it's, it's hard to know, but you don't see her now, so she must have gotten down there. Well, on the bright side, I think Wish is with her, so she should be safe for a little bit. I would like to start crawling down the hole, but not down all the way down to the, um, the like, I won't be touching the floor where the teleportation circle is. I'll just be going down to see if there's anything else that we can't see from the top. Sure, go uh, ahead. Sir? If, if, you, if you're willing to just wait a second, um, I'm going to... Uh, where is the thing? I don't have it. Damn. Apologies. I thought I had rope. Oh, I thought nice. I had rope tricks, but I don't. So. Um... Oh well, I don't I do need it. I can. You can just climb. Yeah, I have a climb speed. Oh, cool. So, do I see anything? All right, so, and you have uh, dark vision, right? Nope. Oh, okay. But I have um, I have Elden's, one of his, like, fake firefly things still, I assume. That's like a candle. Not very bright. All well, right. it's still enough to yeah, see. Yeah, I mean, just, yeah, like, just so you know, it's candle light. And with the torch. glowing, um, yeah, roll perception. Okay. Oh, really good. Um, you see that you are um, you're in sort of like the base of what was probably a tower, about twenty by twenty feet square. Uh, you see that there is a hallway that is partially. Uh, fall in and on itself that goes off to the west. Um, I think I just pointed east and said west, but west. Um, and you see, I'm going to say it feels cold here. There's a sense of coldness in the air. Does, the, um, does the, that hallway? You know what? I'm going to have you roll history, because you're from here. So why okay. don't you try that? Probably not going to do well. well mm. that's a, um... It feels like this reminds you of something, but you can't put your finger yeah. on it. Does the, like, I'm, I'm assuming there's some sand and stuff that where it's like partially collapsed. There's some sand and stuff. That's oh, yeah. In the, yeah. Does it look like it's like been disturbed? Like someone has walked through or climbed through? No. 
Okay. I will um, I will go back up and I will say I will tell the others that it doesn't look like it it doesn't look look like she used any of the ah it looks like she used the teleportation circle. This might be where the children are gone as well. Mm. Possibly. <sighs> Well, I'm going okay. to I'm going to um, I'm going to basically ready up. Um, you will kind of see me kind of compact myself a bit more into um, thing, and it's clearly that I'm you know about to basically just you know go down the hole onto the teleport. Right, let's go. It's where she is. We should probably go. All right. Yeah. If no one stops um, me, I go first. <laughs> okay. Uh, how do you get down? Um, I mixture of uh, fall and walk. Um, unless, of course, I can't walk on air, in which case uh, I will fall. All right. So uh, I can see. carry people. <laughs> you might need to I mean, carry we got, we got, we got rope. There's just yeah. a thing. Like, like the the thing will be is that even though I am a slime, this is I am a changeling. So it's like, right. it, even, even though it sounds a bit weird, we can just use a rope to get the fuck down. Yeah. Yep. Who's gonna? I've got rope. I got rope. I I think we all any of them? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I do not have rope, so I'm gonna borrow. Rope. Yeah, Actually, Wolks, can you oh. just carry me down? I'm just a halfling. I can piggyback <laughs> on you. Yeah, no, I we we only need one one rope is fifty feet and it's only like twenty feet down. So mm. just tie a rope to the top and we can all down and I'll carry them. <laughs> I can carry the on and down. Yep. All right, let's repel down Remember all on. of this plan. Do it. Bertie's just gonna glide down. Yeah. It's not very gracefully, but Oh, did we bring any of our help bringing people? I feel like we should have. I just got the core no. people. No. Okay. Wait, it's just us. Just us. Great. Okay. I'm sure. Right. I'm sure we don't need more help. It was. It was set up hastily. It was. It was a rescue team. Didn't know we'd be tra tra doing teleporting. All right. Um. So Zill, uh, you would know that your uh, new best friend is uh, snoring away, still a little high. Uh, so she wouldn't be any good for you, but let's see who else. Uh, I don't think any of the others went with you, so you could go and get them if you wanted to. It's up to you. I'm not saying you have to or don't, just saying. Mm -hmm. I think, think time is of the essence. Nope. Yes. Yeah. I All agree. Right. Just us. Let's go. All right. Climb down. All right. So um, you can all climb down. You're all perfectly capable of climbing uh, down a rope. <laughs> 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 so when you get to the bottom, all right, um, I'm assuming nobody's just like going to, does anybody just jump in or are you going to like examine it first? What, what goes on? I'll, I'll like hang under, like as I get down, I'll like go around. Um, so I'm st like hanging on the ceiling above it and hold, hold the Um, the, I don't not, think there's a ceiling, but yeah, I'm not sure what you mean by that. <laughs> oh, oh, well, I assume, I assume that like there was a hole down and then like things actually went out. <laughs> Like like that you went down and then there was a, like a cavern. I, it's just a straight well, down hole. It's okay. just a straight down, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, but it's possible to stand next to it. Yes. Okay, then we'll do that. Sorry, you, it's not. You the, won't have a lot of extra room. I mean, you'll. But yes, you could sort of stand up against the wall and like uh, half, half, like half up the wall. Yeah. It gives them space to investigate. Yeah. Look at them. I'm like, as they all look at me expectantly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, were you expecting something? Yes. You know, like, like, tell us. 
where it goes? Is it safe? Are we gonna like should we send in Wilkes first? Yes. Okay. Well <laughs> um the I magic mean, expert says we just send in Wilkes first. As soon, as soon as he says Timothy's gonna step in at that. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm actually, I actually have already said I was the first one going through the portal, so like, okay, unless someone stops well, me, I'm going. They all are all barging step. forward. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. I'll be the so, last to step to the portal. Yeah, I'll be going with Zill. <laughs> no, oh no, I, I, I'm still holding you. You're going with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll jump off. I'll leap onto Zill. <laughs> no! <laughs> well, we didn't get sprayed by, by Ringleader Chung, so... I guess. All right, so um, the ringleader just goes right over, and as soon as he is within the center of the glyph, there's a crackle and a sizzle, and a and he's gone. Oh no! Well, we all follow him. Yeah. You can regrow your arms, Walks. Well, you go next. Crackle, crackle, pop. But Bertie's still going next. Bianni will clamber off onto the safe zone. Okay. Uh, so that will lead... Yeah, yeah so I'll we have right Wolks. After Temerity. Okay. All right. And then after Elden, Zill's still hanging back, so he uh, wants to go last. I'll go next to last. Okay. And so you go too. I stand there for a second and I go, well, they're not dead. Or maybe they are. And then I'll step through. <laughs> Only win one way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, assuming you haven't, um, and people can start to put their, uh, their people over there. Um, la, 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 la. Marble, do you want to put your person where she is? Assuming that you and Wish have not gone anywhere, Marble, uh, you see after uh, probably 15, 20 minutes easily, it's hard to tell in this place, uh, and you are getting really, really cold. Um, you start to see the, the circle sort of Zzz, zzz, zzz. And uh, one by one, your friends all appear in front of you. She's gonna kind of be curled up, trying to keep warm, like her tail's wrapped right around her. And she's gonna be like, Guys, you're here. <laughs> yes. How, how high is she? Where, where how high are you? Are you? Yeah, why don't you roll us a constitution check? Oh. A highness check. Yeah. yeah. Oh Ever no. You um are on the worst trip. The worst <laughs> trip. Like this just made everything so much worse. You were actually having a pleasant experience and then all of a sudden you're like in you're in this horrible place and the rooms are coming in and there are undead people everywhere and there's bones and it's terrible and it's so cold it's so cold you okay, might say so it's with that a in mind trip. marvel mm -hmm. is curled up on the floor against mm -hmm. the like beam thing just being like <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go up to Marvel and I'm gonna stab her in the chest with an antidote right oh. in the heart. That 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 last part is kind I of important. I did. I definitely did. I I definitely lingered on the stabbing part a little bit <laughs> on purpose. Also, why does it have to be in the chest? That seems. Cool. I don't know. We made a cannon last Especially time. Especially when I'm having a bad trip. We made a cannon last time. I don't know. Do you let him do that, Marvel? Or um, she's gonna lurch back and be like, ah, what the fuck? Because I am having a bad trip. All right. So, uh, roll, I guess, an attack. <laughs> Just my dexterity. I yeah. don't think I'm proficient in needles. Nope. Even with that. It's, yeah. like a, it's basically a dagger. Basically a dagger. Uh, seven. Nope. nope. She's, like, not having any of this. You, you see. Cat. Just, she's out of there. It walks. 
Yeah, I, get, I will go. Uh, help me out here. She's being, being a brat again. Just hold her down so we can get her better, and then we'll figure I go out over and I attempt to grapple her. I'll let her. All right. All right. So yeah, <laughs> she just lets. Um, I will. I. I. If I will sing, I will. I will assist. Like if there is actually a role. Well, she just letting. <laughs> Yeah. So, you might want to sit there because she's not okay with I me stabbing her. I didn't her. want you to stab me, but sure, I'll I'll accept, I'll accept a hug. <laughs> oh, hold her down. She's not gonna like this. And stab a second will, time. Uh, <laughs> I will hold for, to attempt to hold her in place. That's probably another um athletics. Uh, yeah. I mean, do. It, it, will you fight him, Marble? Hmm. You can see you Elden come over. I, I could continue to be difficult. <laughs> but I'm I mean, you are trimming really badly. And I'm just going to let it happen this time. Okay. Um, so, yeah. And he Stabbing stabs you in the heart. And no, the after heart. a moment, you do feel a little bit better. Things are sort of clearing up for you a bit, and we'll we'll check on you in a bit and see how well everything has has gone. All right. Well, um, yeah. As you guys uh, come to and look around, you see basically the same things as I described with marble. It's a cold attractive place white marble stone walls um halls going to the north and to the south undead sort of wandering around um and and this voice that in various different um uh, languages now that you're all there and you all speak different languages uh, you hear it saying over and over, this is a place of respite. Please be at peace. Your earthly worries are over. Are All any, is well. Are there any of the languages we know that doesn't say it in? Is that a curiosity? Uh, yeah, but like... <sighs> All, all the normal You ones would that, like, have uh, to sit here for like an hour and keep track of that. Oh, yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Because it's okay, like, so there's a lot of languages. I, I, yeah, I think I think I'm getting what Volk was like asking. It, like, it could have easily been, uh, like the way it was kind of put out, it could have been that it's like words are happening, but because of just magic, we just understood them in like different languages and stuff like that. But no, it's kind of like a tannoy where someone is going, hello. Oh, yeah, yeah that was, that was not what I was asking. And, was... Then, and then it's in yeah. German and then it's in English and then it's in French. Yeah, no, I know. I was, I, was, yep. I, was, I was trying to see if they're like, oh, it doesn't say it in Orkish, which was like, why isn't it saying it in Orkish? Like, there might be clues in that. That's all I'm asking. Mm. But yeah, okay, if it's going to take us a while. I will walk up to Syl and and ask him, can we use this to get out back out? Would my knowledge check have no let me know if we could or not? A two way? <laughs> you sort of poke around at it and look at it. You know, you don't yourself know teleportation circles, but this does seem to you to not be reacting. I mean, you guys are standing there and nothing is happening, whereas the first sigil was just, you touched it and blinked. So, uh, you know, I look maybe... at him. I look at him and go, this was a one-way street. Oh. Um, kind of guessed it. I, I look around, I go, if I have to take a wild guess, we're probably in some sort of place where the undead are dropped off. Um, no reason to make a teleportation out in that case. There's a teleportation in. Oh, so, you mean like it's a dump, like a body yeah, dump, Ooh. something like that. And if there is a way out, it wouldn't be here. It'd be somewhere where these creatures can't get. 
So forward. Yes, let's go find. Well, it. how's Marble feeling first? I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. throw my my cloak of billowing on top of Marble. It's been Aww. twelve seconds. Um, <laughs> I'm not being that nice. Yeah, you are. Um. You care. She had friends down here. She's um, fine. Volks, if you would. Friends. Would mm -hmm. you please step off of the teleportation pad um, in front of that creature there? Why? Because you're the most likely to survive if it gets feral. Mm, I see. Yeah, I'll, I'll walk out of the circle up to that creature and stand in front of it, like looking, looking at it. All right. You know, it's not like he can regrow those limbs. For a sure. moment. He can regrow it them, I'm pretty sure. seems like a very long moment. He does nothing at all. Then ever so slowly, he turns. Seems to catch the smell of you and looks up and goes, but right now he is not aggressive. He knows I'm here. Okay. He seems passive, but yeah. he knows I'm here. Interesting. Well, then, um... We have one of two options here. We can kill them all uh, preemptively, or we could wait until they decide to become aggressive. I mean, kill no, is a relative term. They're already dead. But... No, there's no reason to fight if we don't have to. No, you're right. Unless, you know, they, we, they become aggressive, at which point they all chase us, and all the ones we passed and the ones we see all come at the same time, and then Don't mm, instigate. Kind of there's mm, there's no yeah. reason to start a fight. Your you choice. Don't have to. I'm I'm not going to attack them. You both have good points. Yeah, let's Which just way? go for the doors. There are a lot of doors. Yeah, Welks can pick one. Pick a door and yeah, well, we don't need to fight them. Well, That's silly. We'll fight well when they get pissed, we'll probably have to fight. I'll Until I'll then. step around him in like a slightly bigger big circle and go to this door. He or, follows door? you with his eyes, but pays no attention. Otherwise, doesn't move after you. Uh this door is not locked. Do you open it? Yeah, I'll open it like oh, no, I actually I'll like Tell the others that it's not locked, um, and like, kind of like expectantly have them come over, <laughs> probably come over. All right. I'll help. I'll, I have. I'll. I'll tell Wish to help you out and like, help him out, Wish. Now Someone keep here. an eye, hey, Viani, and I guess Ringleader. You guys can keep an eye on Marvel. Make sure she's okay. Yeah. While we look for an exit. Until she's better, I guess. So, um, so, all right, so you go over there. What do you mean she helps? Like, it's an unlocked door, so I'm not gonna... Oh no, I can't open the she'll, door. She'll do, she'll, do the, she'll do the door pushing part. Oh, okay, right. so yeah. she's going to open the door. Mm -hmm. All right, well, you As guys... Looks the stems there, Scratch. <laughs> Do you yeah, wanna, you can also you door. Yes. So she opens oh. the door into a fairly large room um, mm. that is uh, taken up with really a, quite a large, beautiful uh, fountain with trickling water. Uh, as you look around on the walls, you can't really see because we have the overhead view, but there were. Um, Paintings of oceans and, and watery places. 
and there is um, there's a couple of skeletons. There's what looks to you to be a ghoul sort of wandering around. There is a uh, a suit of armor in the corner. Mm. Does uh, are there actually like lily pads and in the in it, or is that just the art? You have to you'd have to go up and okay, and fair see. enough. It looks like there are lily pads there. Okay. It's a fountain. That it is. Can I'm assuming someone with a dark vision would be able to see this door. <laughs> yes. Oh, wait, hold on. And then, uh, would if Timothy had an angle. I will reach over and cast dark vision on walks. Oh, thank, um, thank you. You have dark vision for the next eight hours. Brilliant. There's another door. On the other side of the room. Should we try the other doors first? Mm. Yes. I will step over to Temerity. Would you like to open a door for us? Please? Oh, yeah. What's behind door number two? Temerity would indeed reach to open door number two. All right. So. When you open this door, you see, again, a, a fairly large size room. There are, um, there's what looks like a big table set for dinner um, so with just zombies and skeletons kind of wandering about it. There's a, on the, um, there is a, There's another uh, suit of armor. There's a fireplace that is giving off no warmth, but is giving off a little bit of light. So mm. there's that. Well, this is unsettling at all. Nobody's gonna close the door and go, you sure this isn't a sanitarium? A what? Sanitarium. Uh, well, a place for the ill to rest and recoup or perish in comfort. I just look at the zombies and I said, are you saying that that is a living creature? No. I think you They might just be end of life care or something. Do you think they like died but then but, make it all the way over? Like they were meant to sit here and just die. And then they did. And then they hung around? Because none of these look like Just a lot. Just a guess. Let's it's, go not to a bad, the... it's not a bad guess. I'm trying Shut to clarify your, your things. Here, Shut here's the actually a question. Here's a question that I have for um, kind of the sake of like a bit of flavor, because this is Ravnica world, right? Um, does, like, is necromancy like a naturally occurring event? No. Okay, so somebody has to have done this to people. Okay. Um, some of them, like, like there's also a ghost, and ghosts do happen. Mm. Okay. You know, regardless. Yeah, fair enough. So it only takes the ghost of a necromancer. I will close the door. I mean, front door. I will close it and let's head go. Down the hall. Go and open this one. <laughs> this door is locked. And Timothy uh, opens door. Well, tries to open door number four. That door is also locked. Um, as you're there, you know it. It's so cold here. But this is the first door that feels pretty warm to you when you reach out to touch it. Hmm. You said this you said that, you said that the exit would be where these creatures couldn't couldn't be couldn't go, and that door was warm. 
you know, yes. I'm, who knows how warm. Um, I, I'm, I'll investigate the door if, if someone would like to assist me. Okay, I, go ahead. I can assist you since I, I will down. go over there and be like, well, actually, this is how you do it, and cast and give him some guidance as he looks at the door. Nineteen plus three. Okay, so um, you're looking at the door, and it is locked and arcane locked. This isn't just a normally locked door. Um, and then as you see that, you turn back and you realize that the other door is also um, has an arcane lock upon it. Well, they are magically locked, both of them. Unfortunately. Are the doors themselves magical? The spell itself imbues the door with magic. You should try to knock it down, Walks. because I'm sure you can do it. I believe in you. That's why I asked. I know. That's why I'm encouraging you. And the I look will back go over right on down. <clears throat> it would make it harder. I mean, nothing is impossible, but, you know. Oh, a big boy like him, he can do it. I'll, I'll attempt to kick down the door. All right. Uh, give me a, an athletics check. My ball. You feeling okay, dear? I don't know, am I? Two. <laughs> um, Would you the, like a good berry? <laughs> the door uh, wobbles and shakes, but holds still. Marble, if you want to take a uh, constitution check at this point. Actually, just do a save, and you can do it with advantage. Okay. Merity, help him. There we go. There you go. Look at you. Shut up. I'm thinking we should go check out the other doors before we start busting down doors. Did Why? any of the undead creatures react to me, like, smashing, trying to break out? Um, roll insight. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be real good at that. Can you read a zombie's facial expressions? <laughs> uh, you're not... Uh, this guy here, kind of... Oh, hang on. This guy right here seems to have been mildly interested in what you were doing. And... He steps back. Oh. The undead creature moved away. Correct. Well, I said that out loud to the rest of the party. What do you think that means? It could be something dangerous. Yes, but whatever's behind the door. Like they don't yes. want it out of here? Presumably, the open. Mm-hmm. presumably, there's something behind. There's something behind the door hey, that they want to avoid. Yes. Zil, I failed. I failed arcane lock class 101. What do we gotta do to unlock it? Um, a passphrase known by the caster. Damn. Oh man, I totally forgot about this. Mm. Did I'll you go even for... attend class? No, I'll go over. No, I really didn't. That's I I lean... dropped out for a reason. I'll lean forward to the to the door and say, "Open." Uh, the door it does not respond to you. <laughs> Worth a try. Could you imagine? <laughs> People's no. passwords are somewhat times password. Like <laughs> that's true, and you, may, you might not be relying on the undead to have a uh, sophisticated language. Um, well, if I don't know how aware well, we that got, we got other is. doors to look at, right? Uh, yes, we do. But I'll lean forward again. Unlock. 
The door does not unlock. Good try, Wilkes. <laughs> Why don't you stay here and keep trying out passwords? We're going to look at the other ones. Oh, by the way, Marble is feeling better. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, the ringleader and Marble, I could probably at this point go find the others, I think. Yeah. Okay. We'll go look around, find them. Mm-hmm. See you. The so Rarity's just going to turn to this door and say strawberries for no <laughs> reason. Yes, we're just trying Which random door? words. Why are you saying strawberries? <laughs> Someone has uh, to, some, the someone door to does to not respond to your fruity invocation. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, uh, Vianney would like to do an investigation <laughs> check just to see if there's any, like, handwritten notes of what the password is. Like, you know, like, if password or any something hints? is scratch, scratched on the wall anywhere. Uh, go ahead. 15? 15. Yeah, no, no. Um... <sighs> Let's see. Uh, if you're investigating again, this this is a warm. This room is definitely warm. This room is not. Doesn't feel cold or warm. Feels mm-hmm. neutral. Yeah. Um, and there is no. There's nothing written anywhere. When you say warm, do you mean like tropical warm or like furnace warm? Like furnace warm. Oh shoot. Okay, so not just like comfortable for living creatures warm, but like cr- comfortable for demons warm. Possibly. I yeah, mean, yeah, but maybe more sense. Yes. Okay, yeah. Not just to confirm it's demons, but more like that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah. Saying. If you were a demon, you would want to be in there for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah, this room looks dangerous. Maybe not right away. You know what? Uh, you know, I just made it. I just had a thought. If I was running a. Um, whatever this is, and I needed the crematorium, I could put it behind the door, and um, I would not imagine that the uh, undead would like that. Mm. Just a thought. Could be just a room filled with fire. Um, hey, Temerity, you're like okay with fire, right? Like They're not immune to fire. Aww. Is this going to be the new he can regrow his limbs? I'm pretty sure he is immune to fire. <laughs> um yes we should let's go check out the other doors we we're, we're wasting a lot of time on these two which who knows how long it'll be um with that in mind i'm gonna kind of uh i'd like to go over to this door and see if it's uh you know accessible this door oh, the one you're next there. to this the one door. in the room oh oh so you're gonna cross the room okay yeah, yeah. do you I'm have gonna, dark uh, vision I do, yes. Okay. So, yeah. Um, Before it, I follow, I want to walk up to the door and, ju- and try Serenity and see if that works. <laughs> nope. Um. Okay, so yes, you go over here and it is unlocked. Okay, I kind of turn around and sort of say to everyone, everybody, everybody, and like they're just not listening because they're too far away, aren't they? (laughs) So I just kind of like turn around and open the door. Okay. Um... Oh, so it's the ringleader who's going to die tonight. Could be, you know? <laughs> so yeah, you turn around, you open the door, and you see, and even from where you are at, um, it, it is clear to you that what you are looking at is is a little fake. Right? But you see like green carpeting with some <clears throat> fake trees popping out of it and fake mushrooms and fake flowers and uh if you see you look around of course it's hard everything is in is still in black and white and grayscale um but it looks like pictures of um forests trees flowers on the walls and another um Another one of these guys in the, in the corner. Another uh, suit of armor in the corner. Okay. 
and another door across the way. Hmm. I'm gonna uh, like. I'm gonna kind of like pull the door to a little bit, and I'm gonna look over to this this undead over here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna kind of be like. I just kind of want to inspect them if it's if that sounds a bit odd, but like what 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 are they about? Like like are they dre they're they're undead obviously, but are they like just straight up and down undead? Are they clearly like been dead for a while? Like um all right, you can do investigation, you could do medicine as well. I'll I'll have to go for um an investigation. Although medicine is the same, um, yeah, there's no role, there's no, there's no bony with this, so, boop, boop, 12. Um, well, uh, you can tell that the clothes are partially rotted. Um, there's what looks like a bleaching, so you get the sense that maybe this, whoever this was, died in the in the desert because it's it's very bleached looking mm -hmm. that's about all you're gonna get with the 12 so okay um fair enough i um he's gonna wander and see if the fountain water is clean all right, uh, make an investigation or perception. You could do either. Nineteen. Um. Yeah, the water seems clean to you. Uh, as clean as you know. You don't get like a desire to drink it, but it's and it, it has that sort of. You know, it's odd though. Like this place is clean. It's not covered in dust. There's nothing gross about it. It's clean. Um, the the flowers in there are fake, obviously. Uh, now that you're up, they're you don't have plastic in your world, but like wax flowers just flopped down there. Um, and there is some writing. Do you speak Elvish? I do not. Do I recognize it as Elvish, though? I think you probably would. Elvish script is distinct. So right, he's going to turn around to go find Zill. Yeah. Apparently find Zill right beside him now. And say, I think this is for you to read. I look at it. It says... In memoriam of my beloved sister. Is there any other inscriptions anywhere else? It's just this one. A roll of perception. Okay. Hmm. What do my elven eyes see? Ooh, a lot apparently. Yeah. Um. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to say there's there's no other inscriptions here. It is, um, you notice the same things that Temerity noticed. You notice the cleanliness of the place. And you're starting also, um, I'm going to say that you are also aware that there is something magical about these armor suits. 
So yeah. nothing you've done has has uh, attracted them yet. I don't know if it's a, I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing, but these suits of armor in here are some sort of war or guardian or focal point or something. I'm getting a lot of magical sense from them. Mm. Do we want to avoid them or investigate them? They haven't done anything. They haven't done anything to us by sim us simply being here. Let's let's keep it that way. Are you still down with me, Wilkes? Have you wandered away yet? I have a question. I, I, I would probably yeah. I would probably have gone like up and like. <laughs> okay. Like okay. As, as they started like opening doors and doing things up here. Because I was waiting, can we just rock retcon something that has nothing to do with with play, but something that I want to ask Wilkes before he wants to go? Sure. Yes. Hey, Wilkes. Your people, they're like very pride about fighting and stuff, right? Like, that's the thing. We're not proud of things. But, fighting, is ne fighting is necessary to survive. Okay, but it's something that you do, right? Yes. Okay, do you have like war songs or like fight songs or anything like that your people sing? Drum, whatever. We drum to sig to uh, to signal each other during hunts. Perfect. Cause could you could you drum into my little my little uh, music box for you? A little war war song or whatever, fight song. I don't have a drum. Use your belly. That's not going to make enough noise. <sighs> Fine. Okay, you're a drum leader. My hat, yeah. It's kind of like a drum. Take off my hat. You, have you never seen a drum? No, I don't have a drum. We're in the middle of a mausoleum thing. I don't have yes. a drum. But I would like a drum. I would like to. I would like to hear your people's songs. Well, They're not songs. Close enough to a drum. Your people's calls. <sighs> Why? Because it'll be funny. At that point, I'm, I'm done with Eldon's nonsense, and I go <laughs> up to see what the others are doing. Damn it. Um, what, what's in here, Ring? I also go up. <laughs> with um, I'm, You'll see that I'm kind of like uh, hiding a bit away, and uh, you, you, you said ringleader, right? Yes. Or, yeah. Um, uh, you'll see that I'm over here, and Zill is looking temerity, and um, I'll go, Volks, I don't like it here. These people, they're sad. They look like they died here. Oh, as, as he starts talking to me, I will walk in. Give me another history check. I'm just going to check and see. Me? Oh. Yeah, you. You're the only one from here. 16. That's popping something into your mind. Wait a second. You remember being told uh, to be careful of these kinds of places. There's several around them in the desert uh, with the lights. Be careful of the lights. And what, what you remember, and it isn't a ton, um, because your people aren't ones to spin long-winded tales, but there are places throughout the desert that were set up a long time ago by some kind of wizard um, to collect and attract undead creatures because he didn't like having them wandering around for some reason. And they always said, you know, if you see one of these things, don't go anywhere near it. Because people don't come back. Hmm. I will relay this information to the rest of the party. Do a uh, quick question after he says that. Do any of these look like? Do all of the people around look like adults? Um, you can make a, a 
uh, a perception medicine. or medicine. Okay. Yeah, you could do medicine. You could do perception. Let me see. I think I'm going to do perception. My medicine is not that brilliant. Everyone so far looks 17. to be an adultish. Okay. As far as you can tell, there's All nothing right. that, that speaks to um, being young or, or being a child at all. Okay, I'll point this out to everyone. Hey, um, I'm going to say, uh, I think the children are in here. I'm going to go find them. Please look after me. And I'm just going to start going like about. I'm just going to go wandering around the place. Um, and I'll get to that door there. Was I moved? Okay. Nope, we're just waiting for the DM to respond. So, so, sorry, sorry. Oh, just... oh sorry. Um, you were muted. Uh, I was oh, muted. DM was mute. Oh, <laughs> I was muted, so sorry. Uh, yes, uh, when you get to that door, it is un... uh, It is unlocked. Uh, Marble, I want you to roll me another constitution check really quick. A check. Mm -hmm. hmm. you see it is so cold in here and you've been in here for like an hour but since Elden gave you his cloak it, it's been better that's good okay yeah are you gonna go through the door uh yeah sure why not it's unlocked open it here you have almost it looks like a sandbox um with pictures of uh, just sand all over the in like a it, all over and pictures of the desert mm. and then it's gonna ask is this a playground for the undead you mean like an undead sandbox yeah or like a, a, a park or something Maybe we can ask one of them if they out. like it. Like, hey, do you like your park? I'm sure the only response we would get is, Ugh. Well, I don't want to try. I'm going to just look at the guy in front of me, lady, child, I don't know. Then like, hey, do you like your, your little house here? And I'll try it in, in common, Dwarvish, and Eldish. I'm going to stick with my girl, Vianney. Uh, when did you mention it? Uh, yeah, when you uh, speak to him, he turns to you and just stares at you with glowing red eyes for a moment. And then he says, <laughs> Look at Chrissy. Yeah, <laughs> Chrissy's <laughs> just. just okay. I think he got sound gated. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Well, I tried. I don't think uh, I can talk you all. I'm. I'm. Uh, like I'm. I'm actually just going to continue on with this. Um, I'm going to just carry on to here. I'm assuming this is an open door. And I'll just open the door because it's not what you think it would be. And basically, yep, it like, opens. Ba basically, like I just want to do like a quick. I'll just do a quick thing. Like I'll separate out or something like that. Spread out, and I'll just start opening all the doors and stuff because, like, I got the feeling that it's exactly the same. It's just like what Viani said. It's like an exhibit type of kind of thing. So I'm just going to be like, it's like an exhibit. It's like a you know uh, a theme park. A museum, that kind of thing. So I'm just gonna okay. be like, open the doors. As okay. he walks around and opens the doors, I go follow with him. Right. Yeah, we'll follow. Bertie goes the other way, goes back into the hall without going through the fake trees. Oh, I will. Come on, Marble. Come on. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna send I'm with you, the Wish only, along, but the only one that cares. <laughs> hey, Marvel! There's a really big like litter box over here. Go fuck yourself, Elden. <laughs> a lot of sand. <laughs> It's not Sorry. as bad as the desert, but you know. All right, here's a, here's a question that I got. Here's a question that I got. There are these two peeps, peepsies. Um, they're kind of different from the others. Like, is that is that on purpose? Like, what do they look like? They look are they ghosts. Semi-transparent. <laughs> this one. Ghosts. All right, you're close enough. It seems to be trying to do something with the statue. Oh. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a kind of kind of like a zip over and I'm just going to be like, hello. You really got to back up off your mic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was loud. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to try not to be noise gated this time, but, um, you hear ah, great <sighs> And that's as far as she gets before going sort of blank again. Okay. Um, if it's all right, I could, if I could ask just for it to be kind of re repeated without the without the voice itself. <laughs> Otherwise, if it's supposed to be if it's supposed to be that you only understand half of it or what you can get of it. That's cool. Um, I, yeah, I, you could yeah. roll a perception if you roll high enough. I'll do it without okay. that. <laughs> no, no, this is this is literally like I'm asking. Thirteen. Okay, so you definitely got the grave. Yeah. And then she started to say something else and appeared to sort of go just lose it, just lose track. You go blind. Mm -hmm. You don't know what she was starting to say. Uh, yeah, and I'll just kind of like say a bit excitedly to Elden. This one's trying to find... <clears throat> Elden, this one wants a grave. Uh, okay. Um, what's on the wall? I don't know. I'll look over to it. What's on the wall? On the it wall? is... Um... Why don't you guys roll religion? Religion? I'm proficient in that. Hey. Terrible. Uh, eight. All right. So, Eldon, you see a picture of a lady with her hand out. You have no idea what's going on. Um, oh, I know I want to meet her, so I know that much. <laughs> I think um, <laughs> Marble and I are wandering over as we all kind of like Where catch up to nest? congregate. Uh, what you know, though, uh, ringleader, you've seen this before in your wanderings. You you have an interest in gods. Um, uh, this is Shar. You know she's a goddess of death. You know she's related to the Shadowfell. That's pretty much like she's an older god. Quite okay. old. It's kind of what you know about. Bird. I think I kind of like, uh, you know, I look over, to, uh, I look around to everyone a bit excitedly looking and I go, I think everyone, I think there's a grave behind here. Or maybe there's something else. This is the goddess of death. Can I do well, a religion then... check? Yeah, go ahead. Depends on the cleric. <laughs> nope. You you haven't heard of this particular goddess. You know, I have a headache. <laughs> you hung over. I've been cold. I've been here freezing for so long. I'm gonna take off my hat and I give it to you. Oh, thank you. 
have a cape. Yeah. It's a giant. A it's a giant hat. And a hat. Yeah, you got you got a great big <laughs> hat. Yeah, like I said, it's yeah. Like I'm going it's, to it's invest. I'm looking very stylish. <laughs> Go on, Zil. I'm going to investigate the statue, like physically touch it and around it. Okay. Um. Also, rob the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're all around the ghost. Is anyone touching the ghost? No. Uh, no. No. Okay. Ew. No. Just checking. Ghostist. I'm, I'm, I'm going to move. I'm going to move away from the ghost because I don't want to. I feel like crowding. It's a bad idea. I have American-like levels of personal space between <laughs> me and the ghost. All right. Um. Does anyone wish to assist me? I can, assist. I can you tell you, I can, I can tell you how to do your, do it correctly, and therefore oh, no, giving, then... and therefore guiding you how to do it. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, I'm telling I'm you how to do it. I'm going to gonna use my cantrip. Yo, yo, I'm going to use my cantrip real quick. Guidance. Uh, I just did that. You don't really have to. He doesn't oh, need two of us okay. sitting I here. I didn't talking. know. I didn't know. I didn't know. So there you go. I'm uh, just an asshole about casting guidance. That's all. I have guidance too. Yeah, but I already Yay! did it. Yay, guidance oh buddies. God. Everyone gets guidance. Anyway, right. guidance non-bodied. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to uh, roll... Uh, oh, okay, investigation. Um, what you feel, Zill, is a very deep sense of recognition. It's not as if... It's not like recognizing who this is it's knowing who this is and knowing that they know you too it's as if you're looking into the eyes of an old friend i um take my hands off the statue and then step about 10 feet back and I just look at the others, and I go, don't touch that statue. Okay. I wasn't planning on it. Well, it sir, freaked I'm out the drow. No. Yeah. It freaks out the drow mage. I can't figure out how to whis whisper you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, R <laughs> slash W? I think. Yeah. And then w, and then... yeah. Actually, if you scroll up to the opening of the session, it gives you the text to yeah, whisper. Yeah, but it's but it is R slash W. And then, and then the, the name of the person. Yeah. R slash W? No, no, no. no slash sorry. W. Slash, yeah. W name. Okay. And then the name. All right. Of, so uh, whatever it is. Thank you. Mm -hmm. you, can well, always... you can definitely, you can touch it. You can always do a, a test text just to see that they are the only yeah. ones that get it. Hey. It, will, it will say whisper yeah. if it's done correctly. Yeah, like I whispered a message to you because I pasted in the text from the opening of the session. Well, I think you need the whole name of him. Mm -hmm. No, there's okay. whisper GM. Yeah. All well, right, I if, got it. If, oh, Woot. Good uh, job. I would whoop. By the way, Walks, your arms grow back. You'll be fine. You touch it. Oh, look. Don't touch it. He said don't touch it. No, I, I'm not going to. His arms will grow back. It'll be fine. There's no there's no other way. Kind of there really isn't. He is right. No Box is right. Out. There's no I'm other way. There's no other way. Well, there's the this. hot door. Uh, yes, that's what I'm going to. Yeah. There's no other way I'm going to attempt to break down one of the, the doors again. <laughs> Everyone yeah. watches Zeal just kind of like look perplexed. And he goes, what do you mean, what's the matter? What? 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 Who are you Just talking to? Not. to? Zil is looking away from all of you as he stares at the statue. Okay, I'm going to go check out this office. Oh, um, no. Look, it's got a nice chair in it. It's good. He's talking to the statues now. This isn't good. It's a good chair, y'all. 
Got a ghost friend. Ghost friend is good. Um, yeah, so what you see uh, is uh, there are books in here. What? See, now this is my kind of place. Is it? Yes. Go to your litter box. I'm going to go through the books. Okay. How exactly do you know that? Do I know what? The books? Viani is going to look at <laughs> Zill and just start to like sort of stare at him like she's concentrating on him. And she is uh, going to like oh, hone in and she's going to do psychic whispers on, on Zill. Okay. Going to basically, um, the first time I use it after lust, I don't expend it, die. If I can see him, I can um, speak to him telepathically. And he can speak telepathically with me. Okay. Why not just talk to him? Because it's in his mind. All right. So what do you say in his mind? Like, um, Zil, can you hear me? I just look over at her and it's like, yes, I can hear you. Who are you talking to? That's none of your business. Do I hear anything in his head? So can you hear inside of his head? Okay. Well, it says that we speak tell I am I am I can speak with them telepathically and they can speak telepathically with me. So I don't really know how it is when you're possessed by another creature who can talk in their heads and they can hear it and think it. I don't I don't think that. Okay. Yeah, it's not like I don't think it's like you're not reading it thoughts. You're, you're yeah. like he has to deliberately speak to you. Um, while that's happening, I'm going to, um, go into this room and I'm going to have a quick look around. Well, if you're going to be useful, then be useful now. Has Zoe stopped being weird or is he still being a weirdo? He's still talking to the statue. Okay. Or Can somebody. we touch it? We touch the statue. No. Don't, don't, touch, don't it. touch the statue. Okay. Is your friend gonna help us or not? That's no. Listen. We all know this is a very stressful situation. This is Zill talking to himself. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It is a very stressful we situation. We all know this is a very I know, stressful I'm freezing. situation. Anyone else not cool? Wordsworth said, I didn't entirely mean it in the way that I said it, but you know what I meant. Are you being racist to the statue? <laughs> you have a thing about statues now? Zill has a thing against everything because he's from the Underdark. I, I, I also, so, I, look at, I look in Eldon's direction and I go, and I just sort of say on my breath, to those around me who can hear me, I go, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. <laughs> I'm practically I, right next to you, so I heard of that. I don't, I don't think he was trying to hide it. I didn't. I'm literally well, yelling from the next room. door. Oh no, I'm yeah. literally yelling from the next door, just yelling at him. You're sitting in that chair, just got sitting in a chair yelling at Zill. Zill, stop being next racist against ghost. statues. <laughs> just because you're from the Underdark doesn't mean you can be racist to everything. That's not an excuse. What were you? Wait, so, there's a library in there, right? Oh yeah, there's there books in the here. library. Oh, a, a marble. Should we go look at the titles in the books? Maybe it'll give us a clue. Books tell you something about their owners. Should we go check out That's the true. titles? Let's go take a look. All right, we're gonna go investigate the books while Zill is having a conversation. Oh, what what could you possibly book. want that I don't have? I, do I have anything that you want? You've seen it all. He really doesn't have much. He's kind of a waste of time. I shut the oh door. Oh my gosh, Eldon, <laughs> shut up. All <laughs> <laughs> right, I will give you the response, but then we're going to move over to the other room. For a bit. <laughs> <laughs> the Dagonite. <laughs> okay. By the way. I think Marble and I will work together in investigations. Whoever has a higher oh, will. I am going to sit here and lean back in the chair and tell you ladies how to do things. Giving you guys. <laughs> mansplaining. Oh, going to mansplain how to look at books. 
I I really don't think that's how it's gonna work. I you know <laughs> I'm gonna refuse it. Like no. Yeah, we're not. <laughs> the college dropout. Yeah. So I've got a seven. If you'd like you have Bionni, I can cast guidance on you and give okay. you advantage. All right. Well, yeah. Let's look together with our own guidance. Oh, yeah, there's your guidance. <laughs> there's your guidance. Oh my uh, god. Oh, is that a one? Ah, oh, lucky. No, because no, no. you, um, you, were you had advantage. You were helping oh, oh, each other. 25. Yeah, okay. So you got 25. Plus guidance. And Plus, guidance. guidance. Plus my guidance of an extra two. Nice. All right. Wow. Most of these books, as you look in them, are nothing. They're just like fake. Oh, okay. uh, but there are the books. three books here that are something they are Ooh. real books okay. they look really old one looks like a notebook one looks like a storybook hmm. and one looks like it's in elvish do you speak elvish i do okay i'm gonna grab this so story one book. is the Autobiography of Vula Guy, Grave Whisper. Ooh. Okay. I will write that down. Thank you. <laughs> Can't spell that name. Vula Guy. Vula Kai. I said Vula it wrong. Eh. Okay. All right, journal. All right, so you pick up the journal and it is, um, it is written in, a, uh, in Elvish. Uh, it is very delicate, you can tell. It is um, also appears, you know, uh, the elves are very, floral mm -hmm. or florid perhaps in their script but even for an elf this this is you assume a female elf based on just the sheer are there hearts prettiness. above like yeah i mean there's okay. there is the uh, the uh, elvish high elvish uh you know, whatever that would be for a, a woman. More like little beautiful scroll-like hearts. Like frills instead of and just like curls yeah. and things. So, yeah. Someone put full, put some energy into the calligraphy. Absolutely. And it is pretty pretty. It is girly. Um, and then there's a storybook. Mm -hmm. uh, the storybook is not written in elvish so what what languages do you speak i speak let me go to the other page because that's in a different area i speak dwarvish elvish and halfling and a bit of uh, common uh, of course and thieves can't okay uh it is none of those right. it is it has a turtle on the outside of the cover Oh, okay. Hmm. Might have to pass this one around. Do you like pick it up? Do you look at it? Yeah, well, I know. Eldon, you're sitting in a chair. There's yeah. some mysterious magic language or something. You want to come? I'm just I'm, a girl. I, I mean, I'm not good at out. magic. You know that, right? Like, well, that's my whole thing is I'm not good at magic. What's your, what, what languages do you speak? Uh, you speak Elven and Dorvish. One. I speak oh. common. Yeah. No, no. Then, no, no, uh, never mind. That's Zill. He's probably still talking to his head, but. Yeah, maybe get Zill. Oh, tell Zill, yeah, we've got a mysterious, a mystery language for him to read. And if read. not, we can get the ring later. It's true. Yeah. He might know. Okay. Let's see if we can lure Zill in. Get him away from that statue. Hey, Zill! <laughs> We've got a mystery Yell at for the door. you. <laughs> yeah. Door's still closed. Hey, Zill! 
I'll skip over to the door and peek my head out. Like, Zill, <laughs> we have a book for you to look at. It's really interesting. Zill is perplexed looking and a little frustrated seeming um, before you even say anything to him. Um, when you say you have a book for him, he just kind of um, rolls his eyes and says, I'm not certain what this means. What do you mean by that? You mean right here? Where? Is there some sort of, what kind of game are you playing here? You've, we, we've, you, you, you've never asked of me this before. And then I look at her and I go, one moment, please. <laughs> <laughs> and what Marvel's gonna do is she's just gonna be like, okay. And just slowly go back into the door. I don't think he's gonna help. <laughs> All right. Well, if he's still focused, let's uh, we'll just bring the books to Meridian. Us. We'll, we'll yeah. walk around. Zill, buddy, we need to talk about this statue. Excuse right. me. <laughs> <laughs> if I had known anything of that nature. I have asked you so many times. Like listening to how the phone comes At this point, he is now <laughs> looking directly at the statue and like talking directly at it. So I'm assuming we notice that that's he's mm. like he's pointing accusing. It's hard at not it. to notice, I think, at this point. <laughs> I'll go stand between him and the statue. I'm going to say that I'm just standing at the door, looking at what's happening out the side of the door, and looking <laughs> and at Elden and Viani and telling them what's happening. There's just a back and forth. looking between Zill and the statue. Yeah, Viani, just bring yeah. the books with us. We'll, we'll... We probably got to yeah. save. I didn't make enough count, like, counter potions, but I might need to stab. All right, I'll like just... a placebo or some shit to Zill. I'll put all three books in my bag. Let me look at my spells. Seer, are you talking to the statue? I just look at, at him and go, I could never explain to you exactly what I'm talking to. It would take as long as I've been alive. <laughs> okay, like, it's not it's smart, but time. we don't have to be mean to him. Like, Can you give us, like, the... Zil sh uh, Elden. Elden. <laughs> no, it's not Erasmus anymore. <laughs> yeah, it used to be Erasmus. Now it's you know, Shadow uh, Felden. It's no longer I Erasmus. I have cashed on the talk. I'm free. I'm free. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I I I look. Oh, get out of my way. And I actually had to step past him. Mm -hmm. um, and, I, and like, I'm like in the statue's kind of face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> how, is the, what, how is the ghost reacting to the fact that he's screaming and yelling at the statue it's standing in front is of the, Is the ghost reacting to us? Uh, roll an insight. Okay. Fourteen. Um, the ghost. Okay. Um, the ghost is aware. Uh, Wolks, you see that the ghost is aware that other people are here. It is very focused, apparently, on the statue. Um, what you see, Zill. Uh, is that how do I put this um, the ghost is trying to tell you something about the statue but is unable to get the words out I look at um, the, the ghost for like only a couple of seconds and then look back at the statue and go and then he like goes to his knee and he goes are you happy is this making you happy? 
I don't even understand this ritual. Are you a matron mother of the Underdark or what? <laughs> okay. Can I see if I can get the ghost to talk to me? And be like, yeah, and it's a like, witch I'm... ghost. I am so very happy this that you're way. happy. <laughs> <laughs> And then I stand back up and I look at the, stat, the, the ghosts and I go, were you going to tell me about this? I'm going to, well, while they're doing all this, I'm going to start taking the crap out of my pockets and building a little, little contraption to detect magic. It'll take me like 10 minutes of, of finagling, but I'll eventually get a little, I don't know, beeping machine that tells me what magic is. Mm -hmm. Okay, it has a name. It's a PKE meter. Yes, I've got a PKE meter. That'll take me 10 minutes to build it. Uh, hang on one second. Yanni's going to walk over to Marble and say, I, I might be able to connect to its mind. Oh, that's... Maybe. I can talk to it te uh, telepathically, and it should be able to answer, which should get all around right, All right, everyone, I know what to do. Come on. I turn around. Are you and... sure? Yes, I know. I know. Don't even question it. Just come on. I'm already questioning. <laughs> I have many questions. <laughs> He's I'm just showing off. It's his god or something. Well, Where I guess we're gonna going to find out. I Follow go all everyone. to the southern door. Right. Shout in ringleader. And, and, and I just cross my arms and I stare back at the rest of the group. <laughs> which I can okay. see them when they can't even see me. Uh -huh. I'll shout to the ringleader who's in another room. And we're all following Zill. He's storming off. Come on. And I think you need to come, like, now. Zill's being weird. True. The last time we left on one of our employees alone, they stumbled in here and now we're trapped, so. It could get uh, worse. I told you where I was. Could get way worse. I told you I was at the obelisk. I look it's at true. Walls. Zill is less of a brat, so. Wilkes, if you would stand at my side, please, just in case. Yeah, you can regrow your arms. You're fine. That's like not fear? what I'm asking. No, beside me, but in front of the door. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then I say, uh, Sorodin. Sorodin? Sorodna? I can't. Sorodna. Sorodna. I say that out loud. Um, when you say that, the arcane locks sputter out. The the doors are wide. no longer. Both the doors are no longer wa uh, locked. Uh, I look over at uh, Zill and I say, "Zill, did yes. you used to live here?" <laughs> <laughs> no, ringleader, I did not, and I wish to never have to live in a place like this because this looks horrific. Um, please, if we were to open the door, I had to make terrible deals with. Horrific entities, for his knowledge. Would you like uh, some money? No. <laughs> 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 I'm so glad I unmuted. <laughs> Give him some money. Can I open the door? You can. I love that no, everyone I, fucking sorry, paying no. attention. It's like, like this. No, I was asking. Uh, I was asking Syl. I look at I look I, I look back towards where that statue was. I guess there's a statue to the south too. Um, that statue you can tell immediately is different. No, well, then I look back the way we came and I go, I'm not telling them anything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can open the door. I will open the door. I'm standing with F in front of. <laughs> okay. Um, She's gonna look at Marple and say, "How are you feeling?" Oh, I'm feeling better. I'm just so cold. As you... Uh, right. She's going to put a wig on her to Marble. Oh. Aw. She's going to purr. Like, so you open the... Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> nope, nope. Um, so as you open the door walks, uh, you see a couple of these... Um, these uh, metal armor people, uh, and they are surrounded by piles of bones, which they are putting into 
giant flaming coffers. Like a crematorium. Like a cr exactly like a crematorium. Like an open oh, crematorium. I called it. When the t yeah, <laughs> when the door um, when the door opens, they look at you, Wolks. They're not aggressive, but they are both staring mm -hmm. at you. I will go. I'll go over and open the other door. Okay. Seeing that there's nothing, like there's no, there's no way out of here. In this door, you see um, a larger statue, like armored statue, and a bunch of um, chests. There's no way out of here. There's got to be a way out of here. There's got to be a way out of here. I kind of say, there is a way out of here. <laughs> it's over there. And I kind of point towards the portal. Like, you know, that, way out. That's Ghost? one way. I'm sure those chests contain everything that's ever been pulled from the bodies that this place was found. Mm. Why do I get the feeling if we try and loot them, we're going to get attacked? By the giant statue, of course. What if we drag them out of the room? Oh, with some sort of rope. I wonder if we've ever done that in a previous campaign. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that went semi well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess. It was it was. <laughs> it, just, I... it just required a little intervention by the god of time. It's well, fine. Well, see, you, you can. You got this. I believe in you. We don't actually need it. Though, there could be something interesting in there. Could be something fun. Wish. We don't need things that this. are fun. We need something that can get us out. Maybe there's well, You never know what you might find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, True. Wish. Open the open the top the top one. Oh. Do you think, Zill, do you think that code word would work on the portal. Mm. Oh, that is a good question. Um, I do have decent intelligence. All right, so oh, now you have one thing at a time. Shut your whore mouth. <laughs> good thing you did that uh, mature audiences thing, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So is said that more. so. First of all, I'm a little confused about whether or not. Uh, wish can open a chest. Yes, hands. Uh, she's she's, she's got plenty hands. of chests her, herself. She's what is she? That she's way. the um, busty robot. Yeah, she's a busty she's robot the... lady. No, okay. I mean, she's I got. Think, I think, what, I think what Chrissy is asking is, well, I think what Chrissy I did is draw asking her is, fingers. what is Wish like? What is what is she reflavored from? And I think I mean, yeah. no, she's just. I mean, she's, she's not cannon. Reason. She's not really flavor. She's just a good old fashioned steel defender. Which I don't think steel defenders can go around opening chests. I don't know. Let me check. Not these kinds of chests. Not like having a monkey familiar. But I'm sure they could rip some hearts out. A monk familiar. <laughs> monk familiar. Monk familiar. Monk That's familiar. So cute. Monk familiar. Ooh. Uh, it obeys my command. It has stats. Uh, I determine its appearance. Uh, and then there's a bunch of combat stuff. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm All gonna right. go with the rules are unclear. Alright, so roll Besides... an intelligence on her stat. Okay. Because, yeah, it really doesn't... It might be locked, for all we know. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it might be. It just, it, the, I'm gonna go with the rules are silent on this. Fifteen. Um, she, uh, goes up to this chest, this chest that she's right in front of, and she touches it, and touches it, and she seems to be trying to get 
the lid open, but the lid won't open, but she's trying to get it open over and over again. As this happens, you see the lights kind of come on in this giant oh. statue's eyes. All right, you all. Chests are connected to that giant statue thing. So. Hands up, anybody who's surprised. Everybody go grab a chest and open it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> one, two, three? Like on three? Yeah, on three. We'll count down. Okay. All and right. Fight. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, I'm going to stand right here at the door. Yeah. And I'm going to look towards that statue again. We I need go, two, we need two of you. And I'm going to go, are they going to die? <laughs> You'll be fine, Zill. Um, we're not going to die. Oh, I know I'll be fine. Temerity. Come on, Temerity. Oh, now Come we're not going to die. I've never been I said safe. Zill's not going to die. I have no idea about you, Marvel. A good... Maybe don't wander into you're, random... You're very funny. <laughs> well, maybe come get me when I tell you about the obelisk. You remember maybe that? Not. You were too high to remember that. Come on, Zill. <laughs> no. Wilkes, come on. We need, we, need, come on. we need two more people. I am okay, I'm 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 just gonna like uh, I'm just, I just wanna I'm gonna take the time to just like look at this fucking statue thing. You, you said it was like interact it was like glowing. It was, yeah, like it was glowing. Yeah, the wow. eyes are glowing. Yeah. Uh, Wish is still trying to open this chest. <laughs> yeah, see something statue. She's doing something, so maybe don't stand close to the statue. Maybe stand. No, you guys go stand there. by the chest. There you go. See Tamari's got a chest. Come on, ringleader, grab the other chest. I'm looking at the statue. And come on, Marvel, Do I open that last one. All right. Um, so if you want to investigate it, ringleader. Yes. Yeah. Like, can I can I investigate? I want to. Yes. Go ahead. Yep. Go ahead with advantage. Um. Um. Actually, Marble. Um. Yes. Let's do some investigate. Let's do some meta gaming. What, what's your investigation? Um. It's plus three. Okay. You roll. You get okay. advantage. Oh, damn. Oh. All right. Um, so, advantage. <laughs> yeah, no, that was good. So, uh, this is a giant armor, which, uh, from what you've seen before, from what you saw of the other armor, you know that this is uh, some sort of protector. And that, um, Without the right words, if you attempt to open the chests, it will come to life and beat the living crap out of you because that is what it is. Uh, okay. That's its entire thing. And you know that it's probably a lot like the other ones, but just way tougher. Okay. At that point, Marvel's going to be like, don't touch the chests. But we already we need them. a code, or this thing will come to life and beat the shit out of us. But Zill knows the code; it's fine. Man, it's since fine. when are you so timid? Man, one like bad trip, and you just your whole personality flips around. You know what? Oh, get us. Are you just intimidated by the fact you're the she's smarter than you? <laughs> Zill, look, what, what was that thing you said? Yeah, you mean I'm smarter? I look I back think. at Zill and say. We're gonna die down here. I, <laughs> they probably will. I'll be fine. You'll be <laughs> fine too. Just stick with me, Wokes. We'll make a new life. What was the word? <laughs> Celiaris? It's not the word for that. That was this word. They're different <laughs> doors. Well, right, right, the, but the tortles change. There's tortles down here now. Wait, tortles? I thought this was your place. What do you mean, turtles? Okay. Uh, like turtles? I... Turtles. Like people Are you turtles. still talking to the goddess yes. of death? I'm talking to something. Don't worry about it. No, I'm no, worried. we're definitely worried about it. I'm worried. Okay. And I'm cold. Yeah, we're definitely like worried now. Here. The Bitch. only thing you should be worried about is if you open those chests and do not say the word. It does. 
I don't have that password. I have no access. Okay. Uh, okay. Elden, well, maybe case, call Wish off. So unless you so, wish to fight that thing, you know you could. You could fight. That in that thing. case, Marvel's gonna leave the room. So cautious it's... all of a sudden. All right, Wish, you can stop. You know what? Let's lock him in there. So let's lock him in there, and have him open a box. When Wish stops, <laughs> the light, do the eyes dim again? Was that a yes? A yes or a no? All yes. Yeah, okay. We just heard the end only. Yeah. Okay. You know, I bet. I bet the password's in there. I don't think so. Uh, where, where is the other password? What do you? You still haven't figured. Like you've gotten into, into some rooms. You still haven't figured out how to get us out of here. I step into here and I look into the fire pits. Is there? Um... What, what so, is it while this is going on, so while this is going on, wait, 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 wait. There's too many people. Like, I think Zill just asked a yeah. question, then I have a question, and so I think we need to queue. Like, type yeah. in the chat if you want to do something. Okay. So, Zill, you look in there and you see um, a lot of coals and dust, and there is there's some there's like a hole in the bottom that. Um, it appears that they sort of open it, the bones go down, they close it, they put in more. Not totally certain how this is supposed to get us out now that I think about it. Is that like a chimney? Or it's just... Oh, yeah. We got a cue going, by the way, in the chat. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, is this... In other words, is the door... um yeah. Why don't you uh roll? Just roll a basic intelligence. Okay, it would not like you couldn't just push it through the door. There's no way, right? But if it came alive and was sort of going to bend over and go scoot, like okay. you know. It, it could, could get us. through, it just, it would probably, unless it was willing to just smash the whole wall down, it would probably uh, be difficult for okay. it, but it would get through. So, all right. So if we got out of the room, it would have a hard time coming after us. Okay. All right. So, uh, and the ringleader has wandered off to the bedroom. Okay. Um, it's, again... Uh, you see a a bed that does not look slept in. You see two side tables. Um, there's a picture of an attractive elven woman, a little portrait on one of the side tables. There is that fake fireplace that gives off light without heat, and there is what looks like a uh, chest of drawers. There are two, uh, well, you can see a zombie and a couple of uh, skeletons and a suit of armor. Mm. The, <sighs> so... the uh, rug looks a little worn to you. It's the first sign of real age that you've been able to sort of uh, make out. Okay. Uh, so while it's... So now that I'm in the room, kind of like on my own, um, like that voice that you were saying about, um, you know, that was the, the Tannoy kind of voice. Um, where it, You said it was like in the room, it's like you, we can hear it throughout the place, but like, where's it coming from? Is it like, is there like a speaker or something like that in this room or anything like that? Or is it just like something, is it just magic reverberating? It, about it appears to you to be magic. Okay. I'll put it that way. Like it seems to be coming from like above somehow, but by magic. Okay. Um, so in that case, I'm going to, um, just just do a bit of a weird thing. Um, I am I'm a slime, so I can do this. So 
with my my head my eyes my 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 awareness sensors pointed directly at the at, at the at this thing yeah mm -hmm. i'm going to start moving around and considering that it did that thing uh, considering that the larger armor did that thing of it started to glow whenever we started to kind of like impinge upon its like security sensors or whatever i want to see if anything like that happens like as i move around if i go near any of the objects if i start interacting with the objects you know that kind of stuff how will you interact with them um so it would be kind of a thing of uh uh little pieces of uh little pseudopods of myself kind of like go out and start touching the um uh you know just like touching the let's 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 go with this wardrobe here i'll start poking the wardrobe's doors and then mm -hmm. i'll just kind of like um move closer to the handles and then kind of like just start maybe like poking the handle with a kind of like you know that kind of thing of uh you know have you ever tried to shut a door but you don't quite hit it you don't quite like you try to do it with like your toe and but you don't mm -hmm. do it quite enough so it kind of like goes halfway and then it swings back that kind of thing okay when that happens the suit of armor comes to life walks over and shuts the door and then goes back and goes back into an inert state hmm. okay The suits of armor, out of interest, like we, you kind of described them before, but um, if I could just go over them again, do they look armed, particularly? Oh yeah, yeah, they do yeah. look armed. Okay, cool. Um, they don't look armed; they are armed. They have um, yeah, arms. swords, I believe. Let me double check this for a second. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. So yeah, with um, with that in mind, um, like continuing on, is it is it kind of like this is like a reproducible thing with other things and other objects? Like if I muck about with the handles here or something like that, will it like? Yes. All right. So wall? this is what after you've done this for a few minutes, what you get the sense is if you disturb the tableau. Mm -hmm in some way, make it look messy, make it look wrong. The, uh, the statue comes to life, fixes it and goes back. Okay. It does not appear upset at you or aggressive about it. Okay, um, well, in that case, I'm going to, um, I'm going to basically turn my, turn the mouth hole that I use for this, for the, for the human sounds into a little megaphone and i kind of go everybody i kind of i figured out this idea if you disturb the sanctity of the dead there's this strange things will happen i don't know if it's going to be a good idea and i go into the study while i'm doing this it's like you know um and then i'll just do a little thing of like seeing if it's reproducible i'll just like just lightly push just slightly push the rug a bit out of the way to see if this guy see if this this one's going to oh yeah if you push the rug out of the way he comes over and fixes it and goes yeah. back yeah and um yeah then i'll just uh start like i'll pick out a book see if there's a book that i can find uh and... did you guys leave any of the actual books there or like who has what book now because there uh, were three books viani stole yeah viani has all three of them yeah mm -hmm. oh Okay, so there are no more books on the shelves then. The rest I mean, are there fake. are fake books. Oh, okay. Um, no. well, fair mm. enough. And they didn't seem to come when we took the books. Yeah. Oh, well, we, Which... we didn't leave a mess behind. Well, oh, I, I think fair. it would actually be, I think the, a more exact one would be something to the effect of there's, like, it's not part of their purview. Like, as a case in point, I slightly move one of the decoy books. Nothing happens. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, now it doesn't really matter then. I mean, when you say you slightly move it, how do you move it? Oh, I would just like, you know. Um, Does it look messy when you moved it? Yeah, Is do you move it somewhere works? else on the shelf or do you knock it on the floor? 
no, no, no. I'll just like uh, I don't have to knock everything on the floor. Nothing has to be. No, I'm just, I'm just saying the comparison between moving on the show. I'm going to pull it. I'm going to pull it so that way, kind of like um, the front of the book is just like lying flat on the oh. floor. Mm-hmm. All right. So if you do that, it will come over and fix it. There you go. It, 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 you know, the I think the real books aren't part of um, its spell, aren't part of the messiness. It's not part of its tableau. Um, and anyway, I'll kind of come back over and I'll go, um, everybody, I figured out some more stuff. They don't like it when you make think, make a mess. It's a bit strange. I don't know if they do the water as well or if they do anything about the sand. But it might be a bit interesting. What are you guys doing? What are we doing? Yanni was sizing up the statue. So, Um, from the sound of it, the smaller ones are like maintenance robots. And this one's a you touch my stuff and I kill you robot. Right. They have weapons. They all have weapons. That I think one they over all probably murder you. Yeah. Probably. I think I think I like I think a more exact I think a more exact like out of character description would be those ones are more forgiving in regards to fucking with shit. Because unless I, I can only suppose that if I don't know, um Volks decided to start like you know, slapping the shit out of that fountain over there. Yeah, I'd like that destroy armor, it or... that, that that armor is going to be very yeah. pissed off with us. Whereas this one, it's like if you go near the chest in any way, I'm just gonna break. Well, you. if you try to open them, mm, I think I if you know. actually open them, because Wish has been trying to open them for a bit, and yeah, you get. I think you actually um, have a... to open them. Okay, I have. Yeah, he's gonna go back in the room. Okay, yeah, never mind. Go ahead, Wilkes. Um, I'm, 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 I'm gonna kind of ask. I'm gonna kind of ask. Uh, there was a bunch of books over there, and they were empty. Were there any books? Yeah, we're gonna look at them later, though. Can we look at them now? Can you read Elvish? I could read Elvish. I... Yeah, we should look through the book. Okay, and she'll pull out the books because they're in Elvish. If they have anything useful. I'll grab one of so, them. So you can have one. I'll have one. Anyone well, there's one. There's, a, there's one in a language I don't understand. She passes it around. Yeah, the the one in the language you don't understand has is a children's book with a turtle on it. Um, didn't Zill just talk about yeah turtle? about turtles? Yeah. Zill, what's the thing about turtles? I think they built this place, or oh. they didn't build this place. They commandeered it. Can okay. we? Um, anyone recognize the language? Unless it's Elvish or Dorvish, no. it's probably turtle. Mm-hmm. If I had to take a wild guess, hmm, probably. Maybe our scribe speaks that. It's a children's book. It's a pictures. <laughs> <laughs> what are just... the pictures? Are? Yeah, yeah, I'll just flip through and look at the pictures and uh, discern a story. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's about a little turtle with golden hair who goes into the woods and finds a place where three bears uh, <laughs> live. I, I look at the others. I go, <laughs> this turtle has hair. <laughs> that's weird so the, the three bears they live in a place and they're all eating porridge but then they leave for some reason and go take a walk and then the turtle comes in and she's eating all their porridge and sitting in their chairs and she's breaking stuff and then she goes up and she sleeps in their bed and i'm gonna look good for the turtle yeah i'm guessing as, I'm, as I, I say as i'm flipping through the pages <laughs> Some sort of demolition work, and then she falls asleep, right? Uh, and then the bears come home, and they go upstairs, and they um, they see her clearly. They are all upset, and she just sort of opens up her eyes, and then you see her scream. Mm-hmm. And then that's where the story kind of ends, apparently, based on the pictures. In this, like, out of character, is Goldilocks and the Three Bears a common story around in this world? 
I definitely See, never heard of the story. They have no yeah, it's not it. it's not a drow story for sure. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it would it is, be a story I recognize. It's yes, got a turtle it, in it. Well, it wouldn't they're not a turtle. It You're would a not be a story that you would specifically recognize. Would but I would a say that one? a lot of people here would recognize this story, but not you. You don't remember any stories. Oh. I'm just flipping through it. I'm just like, this is remember. a story of pure madness. <laughs> <laughs> what I'll lesson is going to be learned from this book? And I just hand it to, to whoever's nearby. <laughs> Biani will take and say, well, this is about shoddy craftsmanship and ununionized construction workers, clearly. <laughs> Uh, quick, Vianney flips through the book to see, like, is it, do they, they go through and, like, and does bears. she try all three things and then break them? Does she try all three beds? Um, it, it, just from the pictures, you can't necessarily mm. tell this, but does you know the story. The rules, rules of thermodynamics with, with the porch? Well, no, but I was looking at the teleport thing that we came in on when I was taking care of, um, marble. And it's got a weird pattern to it. I mean, come look. Oh, look. Oh, wait, I had a what question I, I didn't at? get an answer. I asked if I didn't get, a, get an answer to. Oh, I'm sorry. What did you ask? I asked if there was any chimneys for the, for these uh, fire pits. What did Biani say to me? Like, is there, the smoke yeah. has to ah, so there. you look up? Yeah. There is what looks like a very small chimney. Okay, so nothing you can, like, fit through. Okay. Uh, you certainly couldn't. <laughs> Maybe if uh, Viani goes on a diet, she can squeeze through, but okay. definitely not a, anyone <laughs> like you. Just wanted to know that we aren't like weren't standing there, like you, <laughs> like right next to a way of getting out. <laughs> so Viani was pointing out the strange pattern on the teleport ring. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you wanted me to come check it out with you. Yeah. I'm going to go away, the... Elden. Okay, I'm gonna go to the. I'm gonna go go see if there's soup in the dining room. <laughs> go eat the soup. See. No, no. Or is it pie? Not touch anything. There's wax food. Okay. Is any of it soup or porridgey like? Wax soup. No. Damn, I tried. See how it is. No, that three. raises the question: Would wax soup be melted wax or not? You do not. <laughs> we're done. Nope, we're not having this conversation. Okay, so All right, Biani. looking Biani's, at the stuff. Well, there's three circles, and then there's three corners without circles. Hmm. The three bears. Three and three. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So, maybe you have to complete it or something. I don't know. I just noticed it. And we are looking for a way out of here. And this is how we got in. Is there it's something I can't? <laughs> um, sh should we look to see if there's magical? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, you, Elden was building a detect magic trap or thing instead of looking at yeah, books, and wasn't he? Completely it? forgot about it. No, I got interrupted. <sighs> By everybody, by not by everyone, by Zill being like, let's go to the other statue. And I was like, all right, fine. Zill so, hasn't lost his mind at all. Can't multiply. Hey, uh, hey, Elden, can you finish that thing you were building? I mean, sure. I'm sure there's lots of magic. Now that you've pointed out all the all the constructs and stuff, I'm sure there's plenty of magic around here. Well, how how precise can you get? Um, it's kind of. Looking around the rooms, like that round part of the fountain looks like a circle. I mean, you might need to just if you think we're missing something, we might need to just complete. Uh, I don't know, we might need to look in the other rooms. Hey, Zill, ask yeah. the statue for the hint. I don't think it works that way. Brazil, tell us what's in the other Step. book. What other book? The Elvish one? The, I know. Yes. Yeah, we each have an Elvish book to read. The... One is a journal. Hold on, let me go to that page. One is an autobiography. 
by Vulakai Grave Whispers. And then my other note here is a journal of girly writing. An elvish. A journal An of girly writing. Yeah. Is it written by... Did you give that to Elden or, or someone? You have it still? Well, I can read Elvish, so I can... Oh, uh, okay. Like, oh, I thought through. you gave it to us because you couldn't read Elvish. No. No, I just... It's like I put it. I was talking about reading it, and then we're like, oh, we gotta go check out the statue. And she's like, oh, she just puts it in her pocket. And runs along. I'm gonna walk up so, to the statue. I'm just, like, leaving the mall. Um, I can... Uh, how do I start with the Journal of Girly Writing? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, just you're skimming through. It's going to be a quick thing. Uh, roll intelligence just to see how much you get. This is really old. That's the first thing. Um, the ink is faded. The pages are brittle. Um, probably if you weren't down in this friggin mausoleum this would already have been just dust at this point um it appears to be not a girl but a young woman she's she's talking about her studies she's talking about uh dating she's talking about uh some guy she met she's she mentions um her family you notice that Vulakai apparently is her brother. Oh, okay. I I'm narrating this basically like via you as I'm skimming through. So yep. anyone who's around me can hear it. Okay, uh, and, and that's pretty much it? Just her normal everyday life, her family? Yeah. Okay, then I'll get out the autobiography of Vulakai Grave Whisperers and do the same. Okay, roll an intelligence here. Oh God, the, the writing in this. It is written like it was written for like some sort of historian. It's very dense. You'd have to sit Zill. and just- Zill, can you come and help please? I'm so far away from you. You can't even see me. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna walk over to Zill then. What do, what do we need to do? And what do you want from me? I mean, what more do you want? I mean, you had my, in and I looked over as she's coming. I was like, you know. <laughs> uh, you sell your soul? You're too far away, I think, unless you came with us. I think you're building something, though. So he's uh, just going to stick his head in the fountain. Browns. It's a very nice fountain. Zill could really use your help with uh, this book. It might have some clues in it. I mean, they're, they're only real books here. I just look at her. I go, I have Hang a on. question, actually, for you. Do you think that because I can cast spells that I know a lot about magic? No, it's just that you might read Elvish better than me because it's a little bit older, and maybe you have a wider I'm experience. Assuming that you're smarter than we are. All. Yeah, pretty much. Thank you. I'll take a look at it. <laughs> she knows how to deal with drow. <laughs> My uncle's. My uncle's a drow. Sorry. <laughs> I have a racist <laughs> uncle. He's a drow. I mean, I'm sure I came across them. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure I came across them. <laughs> All right, you can roll intelligence if you're reading through. I look back over at the statue. I go, here? Or is this somewhere else we can go that's way less inconvenient? Oh, that's wonderful to know. Sure, then. I will visit again. Um, you hear all of a sudden this uh, this woman that was there before, this ghost, suddenly her eyes light up and she says, clears a bell, the grave 
whispers to me. And the door opens. This is a door. <sighs> I look at I look at them and I go, told you. Now let's go. Also, I would like to look at that book actually. All right. Uh, are you looking at it here? No, when we get back. Okay. So let's see. Uh, everybody can, can someone is... go get everyone else, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hmm. very drowning himself. I guess I'll I'll get everybody. Like I'll run around and get everybody. Ugh, I might get Elden. <laughs> we leave Elden. No, I'll I'll get him. <laughs> Need to beat him. Everything went black. Yep. Oh, oh no, we all oh, drowned uh, with oh, with temerity. I'm still not. Uh, I'm still on the other one. Oh. Darkness. Hello, darkness. Hello, darkness. darkness. All right. So yes. Um. After a moment, you stare out into the darkness, but then you sort of see. Come on, reveal. Oh, I hate this so much. Why does it do this? All right. There we go. Oh, oh dear. Hmm. You see what looks like an actual graveyard. There are What's some that? lights here. I'm going to say probably you can just about make out a mausoleum. We're still on the ground. I'm sorry? Are we still on the ground? Yeah, you're not flying. I'm, no, I'm confused. What, what I mean is like there's not this this graveyard is not like it's in, in a cave. Like it's not like we walked out a door and there's no sky above us. Look up. Yeah. That's why I'm asking. All right, uh, roll <laughs> perception. It's darkness everywhere. Beyond the boundaries of this, whatever it is that you've wandered into, this place. Um, which does look less fake, more realistic than where you came from. But out every time you try to look beyond sort of the boundaries of exactly this staged almost area, you see nothing but darkness. It certainly doesn't feel to you or smell to you like the open air, though. Mm. Okay. So forward? The only way. Right. We'll move forward as a group, right? Yes. Right. Oh, oh, well, so you go first. Oh. You can regrow your arms anyway. All right. So, yeah. Who is, what is the marching order? Marching orders. Yeah. The army uh, apparently is just like, I'm going to go up at the front. Oh, I have a question. Up. Am I still cold? Is it still cold? Yeah. Everybody's still cold. <sighs> um, cold I would so like the okay yeah we could do this no, all right there. i need to drag my token on again and and where is yes. um yeah in the marching order is that where viani is yeah she's sneaking ahead okay um all right so i am going to say before we do anything it's 7 30 this is our generally where we break mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um so if you would like to take a break, that would be fine. <laughs> R&D, this Sounds is where good. you do the outro. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> if we are cool with a break, we can definitely do that. All right. Uh, join us, everyone, in, a, like, what, 20-ish minutes? So come on back to find out what we do in this appears to be a haunted funeral place. Cemetery, that's what they're called. Um, <laughs> <laughs> haunted funeral place. <laughs> 
words. <laughs> they mean things. I have an English degree. It's fine. <laughs> we, we, we don't have to talk about it and or read too much into this conversation. <laughs> are, you just playing, just... are you just playing yourself this campaign? <laughs> he is. I think so. I think honestly. so. Honestly, <laughs> yes. Okay. So, with that said, uh, we'll see you all in 20 minutes. Enjoy some royalty-free music and some cool artwork by Awkward Pasta. This one. So. Yay! <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our game. Um, it's got a name. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. Cirque de Song Sauvage. I almost got there. I'll get there eventually. Enough practice, and yeah. I will know. Uh, we were in a scary space, so I'm going to turn it over to the DM. All right. Uh, the DM is having some problems here with her tokens, so oh, no. apologies oh, for no. that. That's okay. We'll all sit here and make fun of walks okay. for a little bit. So, but, um, okay. So I think I got it handled. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, yes. So um, you open up on the... Um, you open up and you come out into this space and you are in this uh just walking forward towards what appears to be a mausoleum or a tomb of some sort you see gravestones you see uh larger tombs uh viana you've gone ahead yeah she's kind of sneaking up a little bit all right so why don't you uh, give me a stealth check. Okay. 22. Oops. But the rest of you aren't sneaking, correct? No. I at least, I don't think so. Think we are? I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm not sneaking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, of course, Viani, it is kind of dark here. Mm-hmm. And yeah. so. I'm not great in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> can do is still do a perception check oh no it's dark mm, it's just dark Can't really you, you could kind of make out gravestones and stuff that's all you got all right okay moving up mm -hmm. i'm still sneaky so yep uh is anybody else moving up yes yeah, i mean i'll move up mm. I'm gonna go <laughs> like that. Like let her casually <laughs> be on her own, but yeah, you know. All right, so roll. Uh, you don't have to roll initiative. We have an initiative. Oh. Yeah. See, see what y'all did. <gasps> y'all got too excited. And... Okay, yeah. so if I'm too cautious, I'm not in character. <laughs> but if I walk forward. I said you all. Why do you think it's about you? It's no. all of a sudden a problem. No, it's not all about you, Marble. Then why do you always make Marble, it's not all about you. Sometimes it's about Zill. Right now it's about walks. God, the world doesn't revolve around you. I'm pretty sure the world is flat anyway. Um. So what you see, and, and they don't appear to have seen you, but what you see, um, Viani, is mm -hmm. that... There are some ghosts here, and they appear to have taken an interest in you guys in a different way than the uh, others back in that other place. And you also will notice uh, that they don't have the sort of be at rest, be at peace. There's nothing like that here. Oh. It's just talking. All right. She's still connected mentally with Zill. So she is going to telepathically think in his mind. These ghosts look kind of hostile, and they see you guys. Um, there are. Okay. I guess I could probably see them with superior dark vision, right? Yeah. Okay. You see one over here, which I can't. For whatever reason, I can't seem to grab onto objects. Here and tokens, but maybe what layer they're on. I'm trying. Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay, all right. So I guess I put them on the wrong layer. Well, that would explain it. So, but yes. So, and then this guy is here and, and this one is here. Oh, great. Uh, there could be others. You know, you're well aware that ghosts are hard to pin down visually. But they are coming to you, so. What are you going to do, I guess? It's Viani. It's your turn. And I um, I suppose making Isn't it that... Marvel Fest? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. sorry. You're right. Yep. So go ahead, Marble. Okay. Um, I'm so used I'm to assuming saying. Zill is going to have mentioned, oh, you know, yeah, 10 o'clock. I did. Oh, over here. 11 o'clock. <laughs> I'm mostly saying that to Zill. Zill, that's 11 o'clock. That's not 10 o'clock. I knew what he meant. You're dead. <laughs> no, the, no, We're just gonna the let ghosts, them eat no, out. He's alive. The ghosts are dead. The ghosts are dead. Mm -hmm. Does Zill let me know if they're hostile or not? They're coming towards us. You can make that determination <laughs> yourself. Figure it out, Marble. <laughs> what are you gonna do about them? Sacred flame. <laughs> okay. They didn't oh, even do uh, it's a deck save. Okay. Yes. They oh, didn't even do like anything ghosts. to you. They could have been like coming to give you a pamphlet about their lord and savior and just like sacred flame. I can't do anything. It's cold. We need fire. <laughs> it's cold and we need fire. I support this decision. <laughs> Well, oh, this uh, <laughs> did not Seven do well. Damage. So, all right. Ghost and that'll be my turn. Dexterous. All right. All right, it is Viani's turn. Okay, so uh, Viani is going to see her friends in danger and feel a need to protect them. And suddenly, like, a dagger appears in her hand. And she is going to throw a dagger at this one right here. Which one? I, I uh, had to oh, lighting sure. up. That's okay. Yep. That one. Sorry, it was me accidentally clicking. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. 17. That hits. All right. Oh, uh. Oh shoot, I forgot to do my steady aim. But that's all right. Then since she can move, then she'll like take her um her bonus action to then hide for the rest of the turn. And that's it. I'll do steady aim next time, I guess. It's... Was it a purple pink No, you were there. No. No, don't, don't you get something don't, don't you get something well when when you attacked it when you hit them there? Then um, if they're surprised, but I don't think they're surprised. Well, if they didn't know you were there. Uh, I suppose we could give you um, for that. My sneak? Your sneak, yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, it doesn't just automatically go. Hold on, let me just, uh, I'll click the... Ah, oh, dang it, I'm going to have to do it all. Okay. <laughs> so, so only look at the sneak. Okay. Seven. It was the same anyway. All right. Dunk, dunk. Temerity. This is why yeah, you, have an, advantage, so you have an advantage. Yeah, when a creature can't see, oh. you have advantage on attack rolls against it. Oh, okay. Thank you. As I was saying, I'm beginning to suspect I might not be able to hurt them. That's before I've done anything. But no, Temerity's going to walk up to that one. And go for it. 15. Yep. Uh, 15 will hit. Six I... damage? I don't... Six bludgeoning, that is. I think that's from the... Uh... Yeah, the crit. The crit. So, yeah, so it's four. It oh, four. Sorry. Yeah, now you notice, tip, so. um, you notice as you hit, it sort of impacts and sort of does something, but not as much as it should. Uh, 
Elden, I really want my Warhammer. And then I'm going to do follow up. The single. And I totally fail. <laughs> okay. What if I rolled another nat 20 as well. Yeah. And really, the spectrum. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's it, quite literally, it was the lowest, the, it was. One ten and twenty, you fall here. It's oh. <laughs> nice and spread out. All right. Oh. Uh, sorry. Hold on. Sorry. Um, when an ally you can see oh, do, 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 within thirty feet of you rolls a one on an attack roll, you can use your reaction to let the ally re-roll the dice. I don't and then you have to use think it. that you. Can see that far. Oh, all right. Well, I tried, Temerity. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to see you. It's okay. I think there's a tombstone between us anyway. All right. Well, next time you roll a one, remind me. <laughs> okay. Try to use my reaction. Okay. All right, Sil. All right. Um. <clears throat> The one right in front of Temerity, I am going to toll the dead. The DC is 15. Wisdom. Okay. It is a wisdom? Yes. Go ahead. Yes, it is. Nope. I guess they take nine. Okay. And that's it. Okay. So, ringleader. Right. Uh, ringleader is going to use their bonus action to wild shape in order to assume starry form. Their starry form is going to be the dragon constellation. Um, it, it, it doesn't. It, it does stuff. Um, mm -hmm. And mm. it'll emit, it emits 10 feet of light and then 10 feet of dim light in addition. So we've okay. basically got a light source now, guys. Yay. Yay. Um, and what I'm then going to do is. Is it ability? No, oh, this is the thing I was looking for. Um, yeah, I'm going to just move very quickly over to here and going to use guidance on Volks. Um, not abundantly useful, but uh, it's something. Um, yeah, uh, just for the sake of it, I'm going. Uh, the guidance that's going to be given to you, Vox, is um, I like extend a pseudopod, and it kind of like touches the scales on your uh, chair scales. Are about you're pretty tall, so I'm going to say it's about you know a bit a bit below your sternum, and you feel kind of like a cool feeling on there, and it kind of like leaves this like tingling sensation that kind of like wafts through your body. And it's just like, you know, you're, it's a bit easier for you. You can move mm -hmm. faster, think for, think quicker, you know, that kind of thing. I will um, say, I, giving me guidance is actually pretty clever considering how often I shove things around. So yeah. no, I use okay. a lot of um, che ability checks in combat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I was thinking that. Let me just quickly do the thing again. 10 and then... And then I'll get over to here. If that's valid, I'll put it there. Otherwise, I can just as easily put it here, Chrissy. No, it's fine. You can put it there. All right, that's my turn. Okay. Walks. Yeah. Um, how much do I know about ghosts? 
Ooh. I'm gonna hazard against probably not a lot. Uh, just give me an intelligence. Okay. No, I don't you, know anything. You don't about know ghosts. anything about ghosts. Cool. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go up here. Oh, hold on. Uh -huh. oh, that's fine. So I have advantage, and I'm gonna uh, attempt to. Uh, I'm gonna bite the ghost. Let's see what ghost okay. tastes like. All right, go ahead. But uh, probably doesn't hit. Uh, thirteen does hit. Actually, oh. okay. Well, it takes seven piercing damage, and then it has to do the con save. All right. So you notice again that it does not seem to take as much damage as you would like. What does it taste like? <laughs> it tastes like ectoplasm. Mm -hmm. Yum tastes yum. Gross. You don't like it now. Let me hang on one second. I'm going to see about. Ectoplasm yeah. tastes like gooseberry juice. The, the poison doesn't seem to do anything to it at all. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, that's. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, that's my turn. Elden. All right. Well, unfortunately, walks ran away from me. So, and then, ah. whoops, I'm gonna run up here. Oh no! How dare dare I do? Well, you're gonna regret that in a thing. second. Hi, Temerity. How you feeling, buddy? I put my arm on his shoulder. Ew. Um, and then as as he looks over to my shoulder, can at, at the at my arm, I'm gonna stab him on the other shoulder <laughs> with some heroism. So you can with some heroism. <laughs> heroism. <laughs> so you are stabbed with heroism. That's uh, what the kids are calling it these days. Yeah, Elden. <laughs> not Elden, sorry, Temerity. So you get five temporary hit points at the beginning of each of your turns, and you are immune to being frightened. So have fun with that. Yeah. Um, sorry to keep stabbing you with drugs, not really. You're you are a good a good subject. I mean customer. Um and then I'm gonna tell I mean, experiment. I mean <laughs> And then I'm gonna tell, you need your tongue. <laughs> I'm gonna tell uh, Wish to come on over and uh, punch punch boy over here with her. Oh no, with a ten probably does not hit. Ten does not hit. Uh, ten does not hit. So she tries to best to punch, but does not get to it. And that is all I got. I am stuck here. Okay. Um. So now it's the ghost turn. So, Waltz, I need you to make a charisma save. Oh boy. I'm sure I'm very good at those. <laughs> Remember, you got the uh, plus four. It's, yeah, uh, that, that, that doesn't work. I don't save. think, yeah, it's an ability That's check. That's for ability checks. Ah. You're thinking of nope. plus. All right, you are now possessed. <laughs> the ghost disappears into Wolks's body That's and uh, yeah, Wolks, uh, you could see the light kind of turn into flash in his eyes as he looks around angrily. Um, and this person is, let's see. Uh, Just gonna check one thing. Mm. Yep. Okay. So it can get to to Marity. You have a uh, charisma save to make. You are also possessed. All right. So, marble. Okie doke. Let's see. So, Wolks is possessed, and so is Temerity. Yes. 
Hmm. Let's see. I don't know what to do here. <laughs> I don't know what to do. That's fair. It's a bad situation. Yeah. It just have happened. Anything that's like I had to answer the door. Do you have anything that like does something to ghosts? I don't know. Um, I have oh, resistance. I, I have that. Well, that's... Well, that'd be good for their next turn if they get another saving throw. Yeah. I don't know if we do. Well, and she, well, she might necessarily, might necessarily not know that we we do. Okay, so in that case, I'm just gonna go up and touch temerity and cast resistance. And okay. if it works, I'll come cast it on you, Wolks. Vioni. Oh, uh, she is also in a rather uh, serious predicament. Um, okay. Well, I think she's going to run back, basically use her turn. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, who are the possessed people again? Cut. Temerity and Wolves. Me and Temerity, yeah. Okay. All right, yep, you're not too close. <laughs> right. So honestly, um, I don't know that you would have seen. No, you would because of the ringleader. The ringleader would have uh, lit Glowing, yeah. yeah. So I could see that. And also the ghost disappeared, presumably. Like they just yeah. evaporated. Um, and I am going to hold my action if one of the possessed people attempt to attack a member of our party i will do non-lethal damage to them in return okay and that's my turn all right ah it is temerity's turn let me make sure i'm go i'm supposed to go on you Is Tamerity about to punch someone? Uh, yes. <laughs> All right. Well, I just the... wanted to make sure. Oh, if it's like uh, on the ghost turn or on our yeah, turn? Yeah, on the ghost turn. I don't, th it doesn't seem to be saying that, so I'm just going to assume it's on your turn. Um, so he's going to punch Elden. Elden's right there. That's unnecessary. Oh, oh did I mention, there was an exception <laughs> if it was Elden? Hey! <laughs> Are you part of this team? Oh, so Wish right. is going to protect me. Oh, okay. So these going to do a disadvantage. Okay. All right. So, uh, uh, punch twice the first time with disadvantage. 16, 16. Uh, fuck it. Really? With disadvantage? Yeah, it's a sixteen five. What the? Ah, fine, I'll take it. All right, punch one more time. That's four. Yeah, four damage. Jesus. Twenty-three. Fuck. You are rude. That's for another five. Wait, does the wait does the so because okay question because some of the like they like does the ghost gain our knowledge? No, but it can punch. <laughs> no, no, but like, isn't, isn't, isn't... It's not, like, just because it's not using a key point. No, no, but, no, but, but what I mean is, like, proficient, like, our proficiency and stuff, isn't that technically part of our knowledge? Like, that's knowledge of how to punch things. So, All right, this, this, so... This is, remember, remember that tweet that Chrissy made about having to figure out the algorithm of a... <laughs> oh the discord yeah yeah so no, i think it's i think it's fair to drop your proficiency yeah like that was just what i was wondering that seems 
Okay, so I think the first one probably, uh, what is, uh, what's your proficiency right now, Temerity? Two. So that'd be 14 and 21. Yeah, 14 does not hit, 21 does. Okay, so you can put that four points back. Okay, so I get six, no, five. Mm -hmm. Five. Mm -hmm. And uh, I take it uh, an ally being within five feet doesn't a fifteen doesn't uh, doesn't hit temerity. I'm sorry. Oh, I was doing my reaction. Yeah, go ahead and react. Yeah, I see yeah. that. Uh, yeah. No, a fifteen does not hit. Yeah, I tried tried to shiv him non lethally, but. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. He tries to avenge Elden. So do I need to roll my charisma safe now? She was like too fond of temerity. She pulled her stab at the very end. All right, Zill. Well, this is um, I guess not. unfortunate. Why couldn't they possess Elden? <laughs> um... Let me double check my... What did I even grab? Yeah. What does this do? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, all possessed. You'll get a, um, let me see. Target has advantage on new saving throw against the relevant effect. If they're already charmed, last lines. If the target is already or possessed. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to cast that on. I'll have to touch them, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Go right here then. And I will touch Temerity. Okay. All right. So. And I pick undead, obviously. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you yeah. saved them from Faye. No. Yay! Damn it. No more. Faye. No more Faye. <laughs> All right. Uh. So, uh, ringleader. All right. Uh, so it's kind of ironic that uh, you and I came up with the same sort of idea, which is we're just going to go over to here. I'm going to go over to here, and I'm going to cast protection from good and evil. You know, on <laughs> on vaults. <laughs> Hey, I'm protected against. So, so no, you, you you got advantage on the roll to get rid of the thing, but yeah, you've got protection now. I don't think we get a step. Uh, yeah, um, we can't roll to get rid of them. No. Yeah, you do have awareness of everything that's going on. If that's helpful to you, Wilkes, uh, you can tell that you're about to turn around and punch um, the ringleader. Oh, boy. Well, uh, I'm, I'm gonna... Uh, oh, wait. Ha-ha. Ha-ha. But it's only with a... Um, you don't get the full force because that's a... Uh, well, I don't know. Do it. Does, does, uh, do the just, just take the proficiency out of the attack roll. No, 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 no. But I, remember, I have a class feature that means that um, if I'm unarmed, my um, if, uh, my unarmed attacks do more damage. Does that count too? I don't know. Let's just see if you hit first. Just take okay. a couple swings here. <laughs> I'm, re I'm really sorry. Like uh... Uh, sixteen. Uh, okay. Uh, does 16 hit? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm really sorry. What, what's kind of what's going on? Like, uh, I still have my turn. 
Is oh, I'm sorry. I did not realize oh. it was still your turn. Oh, I fold my mind. apologies. So back off. Uh, never mind. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Okay. Um, like, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you moved, you cast a spell. Um, yeah, just um, like as a um, okay, yeah, I, I just end my turn and I'll take the hit. Um, eight damage, right? No, it uh, he's right. We're gonna take uh, out the class uh, feature. Well, I used I used uh, the the class like this is just my normal punch, but I okay. guess this is all no because that's also a class fe feature. It's a class so, feature because you got yeah, these shits, which yeah. like normal normal punches are one hit point plus one hit point plus your yeah yeah I'm saying so it's um four. Hmm. There you go. Also, if we're ignoring class features, as Sid pointed out in the um, the Zoom chat, then um, the Marathi wouldn't have gotten an a the second uh, attack because that's a class feature too from Monk. I think you're being a little. We'll. I no, fine. I'm just. Okay. We won't, <laughs> we won't do it the next time, but. No, fine. <laughs> it's fine. Um, we someone finally punched Elden. Yeah, someone punched Elden. <laughs> Everybody's been hoping. <laughs> it took a. I am honestly to... confused at why you all are arguing about punching Elden. Like you should all be cheering the shit on, and you're like, "Well, did you really punch Elden? No, you punch Elden. It's fine." <laughs> so yeah, you take four points of uh, getting punched yeah, in it. the face damage. <laughs> Okay. Did the ghost move me anywhere or <laughs> oh, okay. the ghost nah, the ghost is I think going to um I'll probably move like just there. Oh yeah. and there's the I'm free. <laughs> okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. All righty. So that brings us, the ghosts aren't going to do anything that they haven't already done. So back to Marble. Wait, it's not, just about by my not Elden? So. Oh, did I miss Elden? I'm yeah, sorry. He Elden. He's after me. Yeah, fine. It's a, it's fine. a long you know what? list of players. It's a I long know, list. I know, Elden, I know that it. you're, I know that you're possessed, Marity. And you're sorry about this. So I'm sorry too. And I'm just gonna shoot you in the face. I don't think I can do that non lethally. I don't think I can do that non lethally. Yeah, you also, can't. Because it's a gun. It's a gun to your face. What kind of damage is that? Gun damage. Gun damage. <laughs> gun magic gun damage. Also, because I really don't have anything else to do, do to you. Um, I will say, um,. Get out, ghost, you fiend, as I shoot him in the face <laughs> with a 8 plus 4, 12. I'm pretty sure it doesn't hit you. Oh, I don't know. I, I think that uh, I should point out that his AC is a class feature. <laughs> uh, it is. You are not wrong. His AC is a class feature. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so, how much so what does this AC? It's just your dex, that's 10 plus your dex, right? Yes. Yeah, no, because the ghost be isn't going to try to move. Exactly, ghost so it should be 10 plus, 10 plus his dex is like just basic AC. Uh, which is what, yours yeah, is like 12. 13? 12? 12? 12? Oh yeah, no, I shoot him in the face then. Okay. Take that to Mary. <laughs> oh, then I would hit you Asshole. too. But... Which is... <laughs> Have a, oh God! Hey, I would also plus uh, four. Uh, have one, a one, one moment. I would damage. like to point out that <laughs> HP is a class feature. <laughs> <laughs> the text says class feature. <laughs> so Tamari just drops to the ground because he's got no class anymore. Not gonna take any of your HP away from you. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not that, <laughs> but I'm just saying that, you know, we can all do it this way. <laughs> We can all nitpick yeah. as much as we want. Either way, mm. I am uh, it's I'm shooting him in the face. <laughs> Whether it hits or not, you decide, but I'm shooting him in the face. Okay. If it hits, it's 12 damage. If it doesn't hit, then, you know, nothing. Yeah. No, it's all good. What type of damage is it? Uh, magic piercing. Yeah, that hits. Then that's going to go for the full damage. Yay for magical weapons. Being the only one who has one. Um, uh, I have one. magic, so I won't. <laughs> Why are you muting? Thing. It's my I turn. I have a ghost. No, it's not. Does that count? Mm -hmm. Alright. Marble. Okay. So, it has recently been pointed out to me that as a cleric, I have turn undead. There you go. And so, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do it. All right. Oh. Every spook. A wisdom saving. Within 30 Bro. feet. What is your. What is the DC on that? Let me look. 14. Is my DC. Okay. We can hear you. Well, the first one definitely doesn't. <laughs> and let's see. Wait, what? What's the first one? That one doesn't either. They both, neither okay. of them do. But the first one was going to be you. So, okay. all right. So, um, <laughs> spend its turn. It is as far away from me as it can. Yeah. So basically, it can't move yet. But yeah. you do, uh, Wolks. You kind of. Feel like you're more in possession of yourself. The uh, the ghost is still there, but you can feel its fear, its terror, and its desire to get the f out. Temerity, same thing. Good. So, um, and let's see, uh, I'm going to. I'm going to say that you guys can see the ghost kind of popping out a little bit. Oh, okay. So if, let me Can we say, attack it separately? I'm going to say yes. Because I'm nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we'll just say that that's where they are. Okay. Right this second. All right, then um, Viani is, given that there's an ally within five feet of them, right? Yeah. <laughs> Very, Very definitely. <laughs> yep, she's going to take her psionic dagger and she's going to throw it at the first ghost. Um, and then, oh, lucky, she's going to reroll. Oh, yeah, reroll that or take the 23. No, I guess reroll, obviously. Just reroll. Yeah. yeah. Hey, 18. Um, and then as her bonus action, she's going to do her second psionic dagger. So she's like, she's going to like force things are going to sort of appear in her hands and she's just going to sort of whoo, whoo, throw it out at the ghost. Oof. Damn. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. So you can is, ignore this is, is this the Wolks or the, I should have asked that. Uh, I think her, where she is, it's probably the Temerity one. I don't think she could get a line of sight through marble and wolks. Yeah, that's All right. So people. sorry. All yep. right. Apologies. Um, so the sneak doesn't count on the second, but the crit does. So 17 and then 9. Um. Not looking good. It's looking very pale. <laughs> for a ghost. We'll just All say right. for a ghost. Yeah, that's going to be the end of her turn. <laughs> okay. It's looking uh, even paler. Yeah, it's it's kind of like it's, it's doing that kind of Japanese thing mm. that they do, where they look like they're popping in and out. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hmm. Phasing. 
amazing that yeah that sort of japanese horror movie thing that they that ghosts occasionally do i guess all right uh like a light bulb yeah going out exactly temerity you are free mind yay <laughs> how is it do i get those points each turn was it I think so. Yeah, I five, think it yes. depends on something. What does it depend on, Elden? You you get you get uh it, you're like you restack back up to uh um, to five. Uh, that's a little weird. And so it says you gain five temporary HP points per turn. Yeah, so you go back up to five each. I, I'll let yeah. I'll let I'll let the DM decide what that means. Because yeah. <laughs> if I were to read it, I would say you just keep gaining five every time, not that you regain five. Well, that's not how temporary. I believe another part says you lose it at the start of your turn anyway. So you lose those remaining ones and gain five. Let me, let me. But, yeah, that's how I read it. You don't stack temporary but... turns normally. Yeah. No. So oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, right. you know. Let's go for this. Chrissy, five out of ten. I will give you five. Go ahead and put five hit points back on the board. Yeah, I'll put those. Oh, you did. So gone. I also um, I'm assuming seven. So dollars. actually, before before you do that, I did realize that you hit me and I didn't do a, a con save for oh, it yeah. because I did get hit. So let me do one of those real quick before you add yourself mm. extra things that you may or may not. Damn it. I got a twenty. You're fine. <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> I'm assuming seven doesn't hit. Nope. Uh, let's go for the key point and get two more attacks in there. Eighteen. Uh... 18. That does hit, of course. Yes. So it's... And that would be six bludgeoning. If not for resistance. Yeah, it is resisting it. But, you know, you're, yeah. you're getting it. Every little bit helps. Every little <laughs> bit is definitely helping here. It's and good. <laughs> final attack. A 19 for another six. You can describe its second death. <laughs> I'm just thinking it's going to be Temerity is punching it. They, each time his fists go through it, a little more of it gets knocked out and just fades away. Until the second punch that lands just wipes out enough of it that the whole thing fades away. And it is gone. Just a cold, cold memory. All right. Zill. Uh, well, there's one left. Um, is, is it visible? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Well, then I guess it can make a wisdom save. Been doing so well at those. I made it. Okay, boom. All right, cool. All right. So, ringleader. All right. Um, I'm going to use a bonus action in order to cast Shillelagh, uh, which turns my spear magical and being a cute little scamp that I am. I'll um, go over to where the spear is. And this is going to have a, a, I'll just add one to it. This is, uh, yeah. Oop. Nope. Eh, whatever. As it goes. <clears throat> um, eh, most of pity. That's it. That's my son. Okay. Wolks. So as soon as the ghost leaves Wolks and he regains control of himself, like anyone around him will notice he's like the punches he's about to throw. He's not punching with the same like like clear technique and actually thinking it through. It's just wild fuck this thing. 
So first I'm gonna attempt to punch it. That hits. Probably... Oh. That's seven. And then I'm gonna do an action search and punch it again. That, that probably one does doesn't not hit. hit. And then I'm going to use my bonus action to do Hungry Jaws and attempt to bite it. Okay. 17 hits. 17 Spire. hits. And the poison doesn't matter. Yeah, again, you notice it doesn't really take as much as you would like it to of any of these attacks, but there you go. And that's All my right. turn. Well then. After my little friends. Okay, can I see the other ghost? Is he on? Is he still inside yeah. of walks? I mean, you may want to get up a little well, closer. He's a, is, that, is that up there? Is that him? Running away like a little no, bitch? No, it's right in front of him. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh Walks is standing on top. Walks is standing on top. That's oh. why I couldn't see him. Okay. Oh, no. Is my thing not loaded? My thing? Oh, my thing is off. I don't know why. Yeah, it's different on the stream, too. Oh, yeah. Huh, that's weird. I don't know. My, my screen yeah, looks different than... Everyone else's screen, and I just realized. That. Oh, yeah, that's weird. Sorry, yeah, no, it is weird. Like it yeah. looks different on the stream, and I'm it just hasn't gotten the to their turn, so I don't know why. Started running it. yet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And there we go. No, I can shoot Snaps. it. I'm gonna I'm gonna step a little bit aside so I can shoot a little bit clearer and not accidentally shoot locks as much as you know it was an accident. You also have to like shoot through the guy with big wings. <laughs> My That's fine. Yeah. I might accidentally shoot walks and you know, that'd be terrible, I think. Um gonna accidentally I can regrow yeah. bullet wounds. You can regrow your limbs, you're fine. You're fine. You got this. You got this. Alright, so uh one bullet at the um ghost with a seven plus eight. Is that enough? Uh fifteen? Uh, yes. 15 hits. 15 hits. So he takes 10 points of magic piercing damage from magic Yeah, you're gun. getting him. Magic gun. All right. And That's then the ticket. I'm going to have Wish go around him and uh, ha, get ha. advantage and take her shot at him. Met oh, she got a crit fail. Ooh. Oh, no. Even with advantage? Oh, she's got advantage. No. Yeah, you're flanking. I am flanking. That was the whole thing. Yay! I got a 16 plus 5. That's 21. I'm sure that hits. Mm -hmm. So 18 mm -hmm. plus 2 worth of damage. Uh, 7 points of you can force damage. Describe how Wish kills it. I mean, it's a ghost, so she just, like, grabs its arms and rips them off, and they all just dissipate into into eerie, uh, you know, ectoplasm. Just... Oh, like how Voldemort just went... Yeah. Oof, at he the end floof. of the movie. Yes. Even though it would have been more satisfying to see his body go. Yes, he floops away. Oh. I judge. Okay. Well, Walks is still punching the air. Yeah, he's mad. <laughs> okay. Can you restrain Walks? Like, is he okay? Walks? Like, it, it, it's a few punches and he realizes it's not there and starts to calm down. Okay. You okay, buddy? Okay, do you need healing? Does your culture have like a like a lullaby that I can record? Oh dear lord. What? Like a lullaby. You know what a lullaby is. Well, it's just ignore him. To put like little baby lizards. I do not like having my mind messed with. I've been trying to find a lullaby to calm you down. That's what they do. Marble's just gonna go up. That has nothing to do with what I just said. Good luck. Good job out there, buddy. Barbara's just gonna put her hand on his shoulder and just, like, give him a look of reassurance. Like, yeah. You got it. I'm okay. gonna go over to Vianney and ask her. Uh, Vianney, you know any songs? Uh, Does anyone uh, need healing? Yeah. No, but I think we should... I don't think we're done yet. No, I think so. I don't think so. I. This is really important. Um, I don't know. Temerity, uh, do you need healing? No, I'm. Oh, I'm not. You're temerity. not Temerity. 
<laughs> We're having two separate conversations. They're having two separate conversations, yes. Demerty's fine. Um, if uh, uh, there's Pretty my family is kind of happy. <laughs> uh, when things have gone kaput, call the famous Nimblefoot. Perfect. I love it. Can you sing it into this little music box for me? Please don't. Um, when things have gone kaput, call the famous Nimblefoot. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. And then I'm going to hand wish my, my music box. <laughs> that, that's it. That's all I'm doing. Unless someone needs healing. Otherwise, you're fine. I've got it. I think heroism probably wears out soon. So no one needs healing. No, I think we're all right. All right. We're okay. Save uh, it. Save it for when we're about to die. I have. I have. I. I, I could do with. Um, I. I've taken four damage. I'm fine. Ah, okay. Please. Yeah. All good. good. I'm sorry I shot you, Temerity. But also, you did punch me, and I didn't appreciate that. He wasn't in control of himself. I, yeah, I know. Well, now I know. I was shooting the ghost out of him. Yeah, like that works. Apparently it didn't. <laughs> uh, like, I, I, say, I was like, ow, I'll punch you again later. Now I know that shooting him doesn't get the ghost out of him. Future reference. Look, I'll put it in my, I'll put it on my calendar so that I don't forget. Since when does punching someone get a ghost out of them? Have you never... You know what, I'm... Lil, I'm sure, P knows. Zill? Zill turned to Zill. Um, so... <laughs> like, from my, from my vantage point, can I see... that? Lovely floating creature. Do you, what's your, um, yeah, I, I kind of, uh, roll the perception. It is behind some stuff, so. No. Okay, well, I'll, I, I'm not. I'm just going to kind of be quiet, and while everyone kind of just like talks about, it's all good. Mm -hmm. All right. So, what are you going to do? Come on, let's keep going. I mean, there's a big building here. Obviously. Yep. We should go check it out. Let's go. All right. She's going to sneak again. You want me to roll? Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah, you're invisible. Nice. Oh no, Yanni's gone too, just like the ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she is a ghost. No, Timothy's going to try sneaking as well. All right, go ahead. He's all be possessed again. Fifty. Well, mm. that's actually a good question. Are you uh, is still in the ringleader keeping up their um, concentration of the protection from evil and good? Sure. Um, protect. Protection is not a concentration spell. Is it not? Oh, it is, it is. Sorry, is apologies. Concentration the in, shillelagh, yeah. shillelagh is not it's a concentration spell. Yeah. That was why I was able to cast you. Like, yeah. Not me. Yeah. Well, this is, if you were keeping um, it off, then and... the two frontline fighters can't be possessed. Yeah, I think that's a good uh, idea. We can't be yeah. possessed for another 24 hours anyway. Oh, not that okay. you would necessarily know that. So. Yeah, yeah well, we that's, know that's that. A, that's but... a bold statement to say, Temerity. Where do you get this? Also, the <laughs> citation <laughs> needed, Temerity. Citation. Also, we um, damn it. they have a disadvantage. This is why they have disadvantage on us. Yeah, the cleric would know. Cleric, can they be possessed within twenty-four hours? <laughs> I don't know. Damn, do I know? <laughs> uh, roll <laughs> the gym. God, I'm eating pizza. The cleric. He went. Do, do oh, I what? know telephone? Religion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you know, they can't. Okay, I'll let them know that. <laughs> yeah. See. Okay. All you had to do was ask to marry. You just you don't gotta make like statements. Just all right. All right. So <laughs> other than Biani right, going forward. Whatever. 
<laughs> what is it? So you're all, I'm assuming, Great. approaching this um, lovely area with the scary looking dude with the glowing hand on it. Yes. Seems like Do the obvious place to go. The cat man with the glowing hand. Or the hand. building. Old, old green eyes. Mm, do you see him? Yes, you see him. Oops. Okay. So he looks at you as you approach, and in common says, "Why do you disturb us here?" Why we got have you lost? Didn't us mean here? to. We, we, it was, we got it was lost. mostly made Marvel's fault, honestly. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I like, didn't know it was a teleport thing. Yeah, we mostly, we mostly, not we, one of us <sighs> drunkenly fell into this place. I wasn't drunk, I was high. It, she said it herself, <laughs> not me. Why do you keep us here? We I do not. So, where, how can we leave? Uh, roll persuasion. Yeah, go me. <gasps> I got a crit! Nice. I gotta quit. Plus. Oh well, gosh, darn. Four, twenty-four. But that's okay. Remember, Ooh. persuasions don't work that way. I know. Still, even. <laughs> yeah, I mean. It's okay to use. It's okay to use that ruling against me. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Just like, hmm. RD has tortured Shush. me with this in the past. I'm gonna Shush. ask for a tour now. <laughs> yeah, uh, can we have a tour of your lovely little mausoleum? So it says Do not take one thing out of that you have stolen from here. Anything that you have that came from here. You must discard immediately, and you may go. Yanni will pull out the three books and set them on the ground. He lets you by. He says, stand there. I will walk up and... Hell you. Stand. Y'all stand. I stand, On top I stand of this, this teleport. Yeah. Is ever is Viati, are you doing it too? Sorry, I'm I'm trying to get up there. We're all getting comfy with each other, it's fine. Yeah, big group hug. We Come should on, leave squeeze in. behind. <laughs> I'm literally the reason you get to leave. <laughs> and is there anything right does anybody have anything on them? Besides like nothing our own from stuff? here, no. That is from yeah. here, okay. I think yeah, we we the Looks books were the only things yeah. we picked up. Yeah. Yeah, it's all good right. that we didn't open those chests. I would have left it here. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, you want to go fight him? Go fight him. I'm not stopping I'll fight you. you. That's fine. There That's is a it. crackling. Uh, you see the white going, Jesus Christ. <laughs> There's a crackling of light. <laughs> and uh, the next thing you know, you are back where you were. Back in the desert. <sighs> I've never been so happy to see sand. And um, when like we get sand. back, there's a there's a moment, there's a, like three counts, and then I say very loudly, "Thank you." I'm still at the graveyard. He can't hear you. We can, well, um, everybody's Mar Marble's there. Marble's still at the grave. Like uh, in row twenty, Marble's still in the graveyard. Yeah. If you wouldn't mind moving her over. Chrissy. I am not he hear me. That's wrong place. place. I hear me. Um, so you're back right by the glyph. So you step off, it goes, appears to go dormant. So I would not recommend stepping on it again. But, <laughs> um, how to dust it. Okay, you look up. Why are you? And... I literally said, like, I got us out of here. Okay, let's. You want to go about... fight the thing? I wouldn't have fallen in there. We have so much unpacking to do, and I got us out. I wouldn't have fallen in there if you hey, had come at me when I, I was at the I go back to my cart. Hey, no, well, you don't. Um, because you there, oh. Hello. Yeah. Uh, as you look up, there are 
turtles staring at you. Oh, oh. Hi. The two that you rec that you met, uh, plus another one that you did not meet, and they are just staring down at you, saying, "What on earth are you doing?" Sorry, I fell. Hi. Mostly a rescue mission. Yeah, sorry, I fell in. <sighs> It all went fine. Yeah, we did. We did. Uh, we there's like a mausoleum, a thing down there. Yeah. Um, everything's fine. We were told not to leave it with anything, so we left everything behind, which was just three books, which most some of us remember what they. <gasps> they said. really just came. Down oh, there one of them was me. in turtle. I think we think is in turtle. Um. Uh, you see them talking back and forth in their language for a minute, and then. <laughs> Then uh, Doya Tango looks at you and says, "Oh, is that is that Goldilocks? Was that the bear one? Three bears yeah. and a blonde bears. tortoise. And they, then they find a blonde tortoise, total. And then they like. I was wondering where I'd left that. Well, it's in there. I wouldn't. <sighs> I would not. So I would not recommend. No, it's fine. We go there all the time. Come on." Uh, okay. Okay. Was that reversible? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. When they say "come on," is it like going away or going back in? No, like come with us. We're going over to where Somewhere we else. live. Nice. We're okay. going That's what I was, yeah. Yes. Good Marvel's job. Team. Already following. Um, as we're walking, I'm gonna yell over at Wish and be like, "Hey, Wish, play my victory theme song playlist." And she's going to play the song that I recorded from Viani. <laughs> that is a little R&D. That is a low. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Doya and um, takes you back to their, her magic shop. She and Nortel and another... Uh, person that you are not aware of their name of just sort of sit down with you they look at you and they say you really shouldn't go in those places it's dangerous we went in to save our friend who went in there by accident <sighs> all right but you go that way too Yes, well, we uh, we take care of it. How do you get out? <laughs> we know the words. Oh, yeah, we didn't. You might want to write that like a password somewhere, just in case someone else you know gets in there. Uh, we don't want to encourage people going in there. Hmm. What is it? Yes, I imagine there was some nice stuff in those chests. Um, so you kind of remember that Doya had a very well-stocked magic shop. Uh, mm. And she says, listen, after, you know, Ulakai passed away, he lived a very long time, but, you know, he didn't want to become a lich or anything like that. He asked us turtles to take care of things for him, that's all. Yeah, fair enough. He provided good service. And, you know, we just pick up a few odds and ends to pay the way, and that's... I don't see anything wrong with that. Would go to waste otherwise. I will say you do a wonderful job. That place didn't have a speck of dust. Oh, well, the, the armors help. We just go in and, you know, press to digitate it up a little bit. And does it attract the undead? Oh, like you wouldn't believe. Constantly. We've got a lot of turnover. <laughs> but... It attracts them all over the desert. So anybody tries to raise any undead around here. And it's not just the stuff that you saw, you know. 
Yeah. What else? There are levels and levels and levels of this place. But I don't recommend going looking there. I definitely yeah. don't. Mm. Well. And anyway, I'd rather if you guys didn't um say anything. Well, we're heading out. We won't have anyone to tell. Well, I mean, you'll be heading to all kinds of places. The thing about adventures is they always want to go diving into places they don't belong, messing with stuff that just doesn't, yeah, it doesn't have anything to do with them, you know? Hmm. We won't, we won't say a thing. It's good. Yeah. This is, this isn't a story you gotta spread. However, do you have any, like, anchoring things that you found down there that you might be able to take a look at? Doesn't Tinkering? need to be pigment. Yeah, like, I don't know, machines, like, they had, like, all those cool robot things down there. No, we don't really mess with that sort of stuff. Darn. Oh, well. Uh -huh. But yeah, we won't, we won't spread the story around. We'll, we'll keep your, your secret yeah. safe. Okay, well, fair enough. Um, give you 50% off of, uh, any of the items. Ooh. Ooh, what you got? Okay. Yeah, what did she have? Where did I write that down? I think I still need crossbows for my boys. On oh, the boys. On oh, my boys. What if she's got a long bow on? Lovely warhammer I can use. I'm making you one. Calm your shit down. <laughs> I don't I'm think I wrote down. to make you one. Though. No, she's a magic. Um. Oh. She's a magic person. Cool. Oh, I love magic things. So what stuff do you have? Me and magic things are friends. Uh, well, we have some potions. We have... I cannot believe. I can't remember. Oh, can I? List. Just just to, just to entice you more, because I've noticed that you have a pack of cats here that um, have some pretty uh, nasty catnip hanging around. Um, Bone sure dust? Know. Yeah, I'm sure you noticed. It's, pre it's, pretty, it's yeah. pretty nasty stuff, right? How about yeah. I have figured out a way to counteract it? It's a little, it's a little rough. You have like stab in the heart. It kind of sucks, but it, it does suck. It brought her back and and the I the one with the you. wings, Temerity, back. So, um, it works pretty well. How about we, you know, trade the recipe? You know, you can make it, sell as much as you want of it, and trade it for you know, do a little, little, little exchange there. What do you think? Well, I don't really make stuff. I mean, you might want to find, um... Well, you'll have the recipe. You can do whatever you want with the it. recipe. You can sell the recipe to somebody. I'm sure there's plenty of alchemists here who would love to have a recipe to cure. It's like a hangover cure, pretty much. If you want to talk to Aja, we don't really... All right. Or Drudia. We don't really talk to them. Okay. I'll, I'll give them a shot. But yes, what do you, what do you got? Um, so they, I am going to jump that up. Hang on. You were the one who asked. I don't suppose you remember what. I, I, I remember, I remember there being a list. Yeah. I can't remember. I can't figure out where the heck I put it because I thought I had it right there. <sighs> I will just random. All right, so I've got um. Just get the idea or the player's guide and get the list out. Go yep. to common potions. Yep. I'm trying to remember what was yeah. If I bought anything last time, I don't see anything. I mean, at fifty percent, we might want to just buy them out of uh, potions, mm. of healing potions at least. Which is How many what I'm kind have? of considering, actually. Yeah. I've got just... money on the side for it. Yeah. All right. So they do have, I know they do have uh, health potions. Um, I'm seeing a wand of darkness. Um, a, an amulet of health. 
Um, a divine scroll, summon nature's ally. Uh, there's a divine scroll, bears endurance, and one find traps. There is a plus one shield. Uh, an arcane scroll, summon monster. A potion of um, jumping. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Potion of jump. Okay. Amulet so. of what? It was amulet of healing. Amulet of health. amulet of health. It. Um, if I remember correctly. If I remember correctly, it's like it gives you a constitution of nineteen or something. Mm. Ooh. I well, I don't know what people have as money, but I think if someone had a wand of darkness, that would be. I was about to say, helpful. I want that wand, wand of darkness, but I need to know what it does. I'd probably darkness. cast darkness. Cast darkness. <laughs> darkness spell. Really? Yeah, in the name. That's Tell probably what it does. Um, how much for the for the amulet of health? Because then that heroism is staying up regardless of what I do. Well, at um, fifty percent off, that's two thousand gold pieces. Damn! I didn't even make one. Hmm. Okay. How much is the wand? The wand. Wand of darkness. Um, that would be five hundred gold. That's half off. Know. Yeah, that's half off. I can kick a hundred toward that. I have two hundred and sixty. Two. So I can get you. Okay, to I can I can cut in for that. I can pay the I can pay the difference. Okay. Putting in together. Um, to can I get a pricing on the potion what potions we've got? Like there were healing potions, yeah? Yeah. So she has several healing potions of, of basically all of all of them and you can just get them for fifty percent off what they would usually be. Okay. Um, I'm I'm really sorry, but I don't know how much they would oh. usually be. So like fifty. I, I, so that's fifty gold. Each. Normally they're fifty. Yeah. So twenty-five, 25. each. Okay. So I'm gonna put. Two she has four of that one. level. She also has some more of the higher level. She's like, let me go find the potions. Hang on. I'm sure I have them right here. I have to add it manually. Really, have got to. The wands. I mean, it's just darkness. Which is a good spell. You know what, guys? I feel like. Uh, How many times a day can I do it? Any time? Oh, here. Might be number of charges. Then you have to roll with you. Oh wow. Look. I don't even know where to look. Shut up. <laughs> I know what a glossary is. Well. While you all are all right, shopping, eventually so... I'm gonna go find Ajax. I forgot the name. Aja? Sure. The, the potion person, and then I am going to try sure. to sell my recipe. All right. Um, I feel like I want to find my original list. My original list was better. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean we could, yeah. like, if we want, if you want to carry on, we can literally just have this, like, do this. Yeah, we can have off. this conversation in the Discord. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and if we can get like day, a price list and money. stuff like that, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, cool. That's all doable, you know. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I think it goes fifty, a hundred and fifty, two fifty. Well, it doesn't matter. I will figure it out. But yes, we will do it because I do think I had better stuff um, in that list that I don't know where I put it. All right. Um, so, yeah. All right. So what you go to. Is it? it is late. It mm -hmm. is really late at night. So. Did you go to sleep? 
I but mean, we've been traveling at night, so wait. like late at night isn't that weird for us. No, but have we slept? We were um, staying until we were staying. Yeah. We were staying one staying more up. night. So yeah, we've been staying like, up till like noon or some shit, and then going to sleep from like noon to nightfall. That's yeah, when our schedule yeah, for like also haven't two slept. weeks. I know, but have we slept at all? No, we haven't. We exactly. We've, it's been a while point. since you uh, slept. Yeah. Yes. Though, mm -hmm. And also, it's been cold. At least for Volks, having been just cold. It's Aww. feeling really sluggish. I'm gonna make you a little like, like. Well, it's fine now. We're in pocket the... or something. Actually, it's still kind of cold. Do you want to take a? Because it's at night in the desert. Oh, so do you yeah, want to make sure. a con save? Yeah, I'll make a con save. I'm gonna work on making a little hot pocket. You're you're fighting it off, but you hate it. As they like prattle on about like buying magic, um, <laughs> things walk will start heading back to his cart to there sleep. Isn't a form of darkness. All right, so this is where Aja lives. That's enough. If you right. want to go visit her, you can. Yeah, I just want to see how much she'll buy my really super patent pending. Um, Super duper stabby in the heart. Angle right. cure that I have. So you knock on the door and it is answered by a Yuan T woman. Oh no. She looks at you. Hello. Looks you over. Yes. I know. Quite yes. the package. Um but what? so you know that uh, the thing that's been going around the uh, the cats all eat it up the uh, bone drug. The bone dust. Yes. Um. Pretty bad. Pretty gnarly stuff. Uh. Really, really messes with your brain. Turns. I out, don't care. I know, right? It's awful. But what you do care about is that people get really messed up on it, and then they want to like, they want to be out of it. Right? Like, they don't want to be on it anymore, but it takes, like, hours to get it out of your system before you're, like, back to normal. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure that's Everyone I know that takes it, takes it more than once. Well, they must like it. You've never met anybody who wants to, like, be done with it? Ever. Hangover. I don't socialize much. Hmm. Well, I have discovered a way to get people out of it. That little trance that they go into. I have a recipe for how to make it. it takes about an hour to make a dose. It's a little painful to inject, but, you know, you got a traveler in here, a tourist who doesn't know what they're doing, gets themselves a little over their head, and you just say, like, hey, here's, here's the cure. I can give you the cure. You have you have the problem always here, and now now you get to be the uh, the seller of the cure. What do you think about that? Roll a persuasion. I love. You're like, <laughs> I've got this drug. It'll stop this other drug. And she's like, no oh, one, yeah, no. no one, no one, no one wants that. And you're like, well, let me tell you how it works. <laughs> <laughs> you're not really gonna. I this. am plowing right through <laughs> this conversation. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Come on, my real plus quick, four. Real quick for the DM, I'm gonna ask Ooh. if it's okay for the charges. If I just take from Wand of Wonder and have that many charges, it's seven. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. And I'll say it requires two um, mint. I got an 18 plus four, 22. She says, I'll give you 50 gold for it. Hmm. Uh, yeah, good enough. I'll take I'm not. I'm never coming down to, down to this city again. 50 gold, here's the recipe. Here's all the instructions. You'll be fine. I'm sure you can handle it. On a side note, how do you feel about warm-blooded individuals? <laughs> <laughs> I find them delicious. 
Are you offering a snack? I am a snack. <laughs> uh, this, she <laughs> <laughs> different <laughs> <wavelengths>. <laughs> Oh she you. opens her door. <laughs> okay, but I get to leave at the end of this ring because I can't regrow my limbs. I have a leave. friend. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's why you don't date cannibals. <laughs> they can. It's not cannibalism. He's not I am not the same species. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Quick question. I'm sure Elden is delicious. Do I know it what's going delicious. on? I am delicious. Nope. Through my earpiece? No, I'm not nope. talking to you. No? no? Okay. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Just know that if I knew. <laughs> Too late. You what? don't know. You don't know. What? Wow. Unfortunately, I just... You know what? My 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 cat friend just got in a whole lot of trouble because she didn't listen to her better senses. So, mm -hmm. better not be a hypocrite. I'll, I'll listen to my better senses. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Um, enjoy saving the lives of stupid tourists. If they pay me, I will save them. Yes, if they, that's fine. If they don't, that's fine. She slams the door in your face. Ha. Huh. Hey, I tried. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'm fifty. I'm fifty gold worker. Right. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is gonna be so pissed at me by the end of this campaign. Like, no. Stop. It's a snake it's person. Good. <laughs> You're just gonna try to sleep with like everybody, and yeah. I'm going to let them have their way with you. Apparently. Yeah. In I mean, whatever if, way. In whatever way that is. <laughs> And it's up to Alden to decide whether have... or not that's his kink. A world you know, you... full of monsters, and you've been hitting on all of them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like you have a thing for like obviously toxic relationships. <laughs> I, I am friends with the rest of you all, so yes. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> have you seen our group? <laughs> yeah, we're not sleeping. I mean, look with at us. <laughs> Very obviously toxic relationship. I'm pretty sure that Zell wants to kill me, like, on a daily. Hey, I'm the only one who's technically actually toxic. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Otherwise, then, before I go to bed, I'm just gonna sit around and, uh, what was I working on? I forget. Oh, working on designing, um, Temerity's Hammer. I'm gonna go to my go to aunt and just collapse on my bed. She snuggles you up. She gives you lots of blankies. Like, I want you to tell me everything that happened. And I will. I will tell. And I'll even tell her how I messaged Eldon that I was at the obelisk and I was trying to find them. And then I got lost. And then I'll go from there. Like, I'll start at the cat party, what happened, mm -hmm. and then just go mm -hmm. from there. Till now. She listens to you very carefully and just goes, oh, sweetie. I'm really tired. And um, I'll curl up and go to sleep. Yeah. Um, we have a fire going in the camp or something. Something warm that Wolf can like, sleep next to for the night. I'm sure even if you don't, you can make one pretty okay. easily. Yeah. Um, what is your passive perception, Eldon? Uh, 14. You do, uh... I didn't do shit. I'm asleep. I was just complaining to my aunt and then going to sleep. Is your aunt gonna murder me? I don't know. <sighs> Honestly, Marble doesn't know. <laughs> I gave I gave you my cloak. I my yeah, goddamn everything. cloak back. The fact that Chrissy hasn't said part. anything is making me more nervous. Like the quieter she stays, for the longer <laughs> I just get more and more nervous. I will. Like, I will add that as soon as we get back into the warm desert, 
I will give everybody their stuff back. It is cold. So it's we... the middle of the night. Oh, okay. There's no such thing as a warm desert right now. Like, when we get back to camp, I'll give you all your stuff back and then go to bed. There you go. Are you happy now? I'm going to okay. die because of you. <laughs> I, I don't like these answers. Okay, let Chrissy, me drink my wine. Oh Chrissy, goodness, that is me. Stay and silent that. just a little bit longer. <laughs> that is one hundred percent. Just a little trouble. bit longer. Hey, 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 hey Andy, hey Andy, you what? say these things. I know. You say uh, these things. Why I know I'm in trouble. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you get. Mm. I do know that you do notice. That when you wake up the next morning, Elden, you're not feeling well. <laughs> yeah? I didn't do shit. You could roll constitution. Con save. <laughs> I critted on it, so plus two, 22. <laughs> you managed to keep your bowels together. Out long enough to get out. It's all good. It's like, oh god, must be those uh those awful undead people and ghosts. Must be bad for the uh stomach. Why are you looking at me? I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I, all day I... long. You um you just you just feel awful though. You don't you don't have the runs. <laughs> right, you keep it together. <laughs> oh, the you don't know. Fucked souls. But you know just feel awful. You don't know what I told her. You don't know what happened. So you can't do shit. Huh? Any, any way that I can invent Alka Seltzer? No, you guys are. I'm there. <laughs> Uh, if you, uh, roll perception. Uh, seven plus something. Uh, four. Eleven? A couple times you notice Auntie Mimsy giving you a look. I didn't do anything. <laughs> you can't look at me. can. All I did was <laughs> complain to my family member and then go to sleep. And now I'm probably, probably skipping around, seeing what everyone needs help with. Yeah, you're doing fine. Yeah. Anybody else have anything that they want before you guys leave this lovely uh, village? Should, so should someone talk to Syl about what the fuck happened with the statue? Yeah, let's have that conversation <laughs> now. I think it's time for that conversation. Oh, this is going to be great. Um, we could have that conversation on the on the trail, though, um, just for the sake of it. I want to go to the lion couple that we mm -hmm. were at the other day, and um, I want to just talk to them for a bit. I want to discuss with them, like, um, what was. Basically, they, they closed off, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to be very kind of like, a, you know, very much like, oh, I want another ceramic piece from you guys. It'd be nice and big. It's got to be big enough to fit me. Mm. And um, eh. actually, you know what I'll do? I'll actually assume another persona, a different persona. So the old one I was using was... Um, Sarah Hilda. Um, mm -hmm. This one, I'll actually be Happy Hulk. And this is just going to be a very quick thing. I just want to see if they'll actually, like, open up to me at all. Okay. Um, um, why don't yeah. you roll Charisma? Uh, just straight Charisma? Yeah. Okay. They seem pretty open to you. Do you have anything you want to ask them or talk to them? Um, so the main thing that I'm trying to do is that I'm saying I'm uh, trying to buy this for my uh, for my darling wife who's back home, you know, 
with uh, all the kids and stuff like that and mm. um it's very sweet it must be very difficult out here all by yourself without them <sighs> mm. now uh i kind of like i kind of like i legitimately just kind of give a bit of a mm, yes mm. Um, I, I, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to be lying. I feel bad about it. Um, although actually, no, no, he wouldn't feel, I don't think uh, ringleader would feel bad about it. I don't think they would. So actually, yeah, I'd go, yes, it's so horrible. And, you know, I'll talk about how, um, let's, let's think um, that Happy Helk's wife is a, beautiful sea nymph that uh, happy helk had a had to fight poseidon lord of the dance to win uh their hand in marriage and uh, really yeah and all that can i see some of those dance moves um no it wasn't a uh, it wasn't a dance oh. it wasn't a battle of dance it was a battle of swords and oh. uh, kind of like gets out the, you know, the prop hmm. sword. Fake now, but once upon a time it was so beautiful. Uh, but there we are. Indeed, indeed. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as is the kind of thing, you know, Happy Health is kind of very, it's been said, you know, kind of very clearly um, someone who's past their prime, you know, well into their middle age, well into the other side of their middle age. So. It's kind of like this idea of, you know, maybe uh, an old Alan Quatermain or some such other, you know, British colonial prat. Um, yep. uh, but all the same, it will be kind of a thing of, um, you know, at the point where it's kind of like, I think it's most useful. Um, you know, help will kind of like bring it up and I'll say. Um, I heard from uh, Zvetilda earlier today that you seem to be having some kind of problems. I just wanted to know if there was anything I could do. And, you know, Oh, like, that is very kind of you. Nothing for us. We protect our own here. We've come together just for that to, to make sure that our children are not taken. Um, but just make sure, you know, I, I feel like these strange people, these strange Ravnikans, I don't know why they want. It, it doesn't even appear that they're hurting any children, just they seem to want to study them, which is, I think, weird, honestly. Um, interestingly, like, uh, Happy Helk is kind of uh, reasonably, you know, Reasonably gregarious person, nice. But uh, this is kind of a thing, and uh, Elk says with a bit of a stern look on their face, um, never trust a Ravnican. Hmm. I agree. I do not like them. I don't, I wish they would go back to their own world. I will kind of like shrug and say, well, as my as my old master used to say, if wishes for gold, we'd all be poor. I don't understand that, but I think probably he was right. I didn't understand it either, not for a mm. long time, but all the same. But please. If anybody, could you just show, because I do not want these children to be missing. Just the idea of it would, ki would, kill, would keel over my dicky heart. Could you just point me in any direction? I want to do, see if there's anything I can do. Well, I mean, you did fight Poseidon, Lord of the Dance. Uh, roll persuasion. Uh, okay. I honestly do not know. The only thing I can tell you is to visit the, the lizard folk. 
if he were to defeat their chief, that great chief, he knows he's making deals with them, so he knows exactly who to talk to. Other than that, I cannot help you. We do not interact with these Ravnikins. We don't like them. Um, I'll just nod my head and uh, just go on my way. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, just. They're very just happy just and they, you know, the little kids come out and they're running around you and, you know, just being a couple little cubs. You know, later on you see Nordle, the turtle, gives mm -hmm. you a sort of a wink and nod. Nordle the turtle is a good lad. Yes, he's a good lad. Good egg. Good egg. He is. Uh, but yeah, I'll just uh, get on then. All right. Um, before you guys start in on Zill, I just want to grab another glass of wine for that. So I'll be right back. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'll go for it. We'll talk probably. So should we? Yes. Are we gonna go back to the to the big lizard man, the Godzilla? No. We're not gonna go find Godzilla. I thought. I thought. Um... Ringleader didn't want to leave the children behind. We giving up on Godzilla. Volks also made it abundantly clear that we wouldn't be able to, that we wouldn't be able to do like do something. No. Ringleader, how do you feel about that? We would be slaughtered. Um, well, they, that would be something that we come up with uh, when we're talking about it. Okay. Because, like. The ringleader isn't a very forward-thinking person, if I'm quite honest. They want to kind of go on and do their own thing, but they want they kind of want to get on and find this person and probably apply yeah. a large oh, no. amount of pain. Eldon's them. got your your back, like Eld well, whatever you have, you don't have a spine. Um, whatever you got, Eldon's got it. Yeah. It's a uh, it's a uh, microtubules. Yeah. Right. So I'll support your decision. Checks and filaments. Mm. Too many micros. But we're not really talking about this yet. So no, mm -hmm. I just wanted to fill in oh. some dead air while Chrissy was gone. Yes, oh, sorry. No, you're, no, you're good. We were just—I was just bringing. We were it just up. chatting. We were just chatting while you're chatting. Gone. You're fine. Chatting over a wee bubble. Are we pop? still so okay? So how long are we staying in the city then? We're we staying another day here. To, really? <laughs> well, mostly because we're staying another day. That I'm—I'm I'm working on Temerity's hammer. Right. Like yeah. Go ahead. My, that's my plan for the day: is to work on Temerity's hammer. I think I have. Hopefully, have enough steel and shit to to make it. It'll look like a meat, like a meat. I'm gonna attune to my wand. Oh, you're gonna attune. Yes. Uh, do you need me to roll anything for hammer making skills? I am using my Skill blacksmith myth? tools, which I am proficient okay. in. Yep. All right. So go ahead. Uh, roll dexterity. Which technically I'm proficient in all tools. It's great. Okay, plus three, plus so plus five. Oh no, I got a two plus uh -huh. five. That's a seven. Uh, it's just not quite coming together the way that uh, you would like it to. Damn. Sorry to marry, you're gonna have to wait a little longer. As evening comes. Oh, more screwdriver. As evening comes, if uh, unless anybody else has anything else they want to do, you bid the good people of Sularak goodbye and head out south on your way. As you're sort of wandering about, you know, Zill, what are you doing? I'm in my cart, which is my own, so I would have to probably be driving it, right? Yeah, probably. Then that's what I'm doing. Mm 
I mean, at some point we probably like take a break. Yeah. Did we have a dinner break to talk about our nonsense? Uh, you could stop and have a dinner break, sure. Most, mostly I'm curious as to how the ringleader is feeling, so I'm going to bring my lunchbox over to the ringleader and be like, hey, you, you, you cool with us leaving the kids behind? Ravnikans have the kids. Okay. So, so that's a yes? I'm not asking you who has the kids. I'm asking if you're cool with it. I don't it like looks at you with actually isn't I'm a bit unsure as to how to answer. Like this is are like are you okay walking away? Your decisions like we're we're good. We're gonna we're not gonna have any like second thoughts about this, second guessing ourselves. What will staying do? I don't know. That's what I'm asking you. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'm here for you. I got your you're not jelly back on this. You tell me and I'll, I'll back you up. I, it's kind of like um, the like, you know, the ringleader's got quite a placid face but is very kind of like a bit really perplexed. Like doesn't really understand. Um, I'm I'm trying yeah. to give you support, boss man. You got my support. Whatever you say goes. Okay. I'll give him a slap on the back and let him jiggle. Okay. Um, we should talk to Zill. Alright, let's find Zill. So, would you come to dinner? Um, <laughs> would, I, would I come to dinner? Late, as usual, once everyone is there, Zill will show up. Hey, Zill. What's up? Hello. Did you rest all right? Sleep okay? Of course. No weird dreams. Oh yeah, what was that shit with you talking to yourself? You were talking to the statue. I was talking to the statue. What was that shit with you talking to the statue? It spoke to me when I'm we were. I'm surprised the Walks has accepted this less so nonchalantly. It was quite obvious that that's what he was doing. Very nonchalant. Yeah, it's very obvious. Anyway, we went out to the statue. I spoke to it, and, um, well, rather, it reached out to me, and I did what it wished. What did what it wish? wish? Well, yeah, I'm really curious. What did it wish? It asked for some favors. It asked for a simple gesture of obedience. That's why I kneeled there. Oh, in the... that's why you kneeled. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Nothing more than some astray spirit, most likely, within the walls of that place. I haven't heard from it since. It's probably a good thing. Can I insight him on that? <laughs> oh, yes. Lizard yeah. folk, famous for inciting people. Anybody who wants to can insight them. Nope. On that. Nope. I just, I just want to watch the lizard folk try to do this shit. Marble. Because, you know, they're so good at social cues, those, those, those lizard folks. The best at social cues. I'd imagine he'd sort of, like, cock his head and sort of squint his eye. Yeah. <laughs> so, like no, no he's going to do the thing. Um, if you've ever seen a lizard, like, look intently at, at you, they will, like, turn so they're only watching with one eye at you and, like, look up at you yeah. weirdly. That's why I said cock your head and look at with, with your eye. Oh, I see what yeah. you mean. Yeah. Yeah, no, okay, I don't. <laughs> He's telling the truth. Parma, as far as I'm concerned. So, yeah, totally that was, honest. That was it. Um, what a... It gave me any the weird other thing to password. Yes, it gave me the password for that. It just wanted a show of obedience. 
a pointless exchange. Well, you know, gods and spirits and creatures of otherworldly natures have, you know, very different um, priorities. Hmm. And Walt will continue see. eating. Wonderful. I will see you all next dinner. If he get up, if he gets up and leave, Vianney's going to chase after him until they're out of the earshot of the others. Okay. Say, Zill, when I was walking up to you, you said something about, and I gave you. You looked at me and then said, "You know." I don't think you would have said that about a bow. I'm not going to say anything to the others, but if there's something that you need help with, we're here for you. I appreciate you. Truly. I really, really do. Side that shit. She's just going to fade into the dark and sneak stealth off. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then I turn and I'm like, and just walk back to my cart. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you continue on your way. Is there anything else that people want to do? Otherwise, this might be a good time to sort of um, wrap things up. Yeah, leave it on that question hanging in the air. Mm. Wrap things up, Mystery. put it on a bow. No, Timothy's just experimenting with new recipes, trying mm -hmm. out those new spices. Oh, oh yeah, tree. oh yeah, you got new spices. This is jackal, no more jackal. God no. <laughs> I think we ate that one. Yeah. <laughs> you and your goddamn yum yum yum. God. Lovely weird jackal. We're not going to tell you if we use the jackal again. No. Right sure. from the, from the desert. <laughs> well, um, I'm gonna let and Christy. Killed. I'm gonna let Christy get us out of here because Christy's real good at this. All right. Well, don't forget to come back next week where I'll be running the session. Um, and R and D yeah. still gonna run the video, aren't you? Yeah, sure. I don't Excellent. know what I'm doing, right. but I'll be here. I'll be here next week. <laughs> cool. I don't know what I'm doing uh, as is. Yay! I just sh I just show up and and be the one that everyone's like, "Shut up, Eldon." That's all. I, that's yeah, what I show up for. Shut up, Eldon. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to come back next week oh, for more, okay. shut up, Eldon. <laughs> Even I love how like Chrissy's like, mm. <laughs> gotta get tired of this bullshit real soon, dear. <laughs> well, I was just, I was actually just thinking it used to be shut up, micro. Yeah. <laughs> but we have moved. We, we, moved this. we have moved past that. Yeah. We, we yeah, have a new it. annoying character. <laughs> <laughs> yes. As As every said, every group's got to have one. It just happens to be I me. Yeah. Okay, like, so. Every group Thanks. has yeah. to have an annoying character, and every group has to have a horny bard. And why do both have to be you? <laughs> I am the horny That's bard. <laughs> All right, so come back next week for more of this nonsense. Thank mm. you to my fellow players. Thank you to our dungeon mistress. Uh, all that's left to be said is goodbye from me and goodbye from party. Say goodbye, party. Goodbye, goodbye party. party. Bye. Hey, I did the bit. Goodbye, party. We saved the cat. Yay! I didn't yeah.